Hi, everyone. Today's episode is 241. I am the host, Isla Kreischer, uh, Grace Kreischer. My middle name is Grace. <laughs> and we're talking about Georgia's college experience and stories. Have fun. Is that good? <laughs> if you're looking for Leanne Kreischer's website, it has changed. It is now on Barney Boy Productions. Dot com. Have fun. The good, the like the Duke boxes. goes down. Oh, the go- the where Duke it's like the Duchess big of Bear. The big Bear? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, one of the smut books is called Big Bear? Yeah, it was the, um, it was supposed to be like an, a Native American guy and a girl. And like that's creepy. Yeah, it's was very the girl creepy. Native American also? No, no. Of I'm guessing not. she got and lost from her traveling party. And yep, like, yep. She got kidnapped by a bear. No, she got lost, no, and then he's the, the big and bear. then big bear found her. And you she's read like, this book. And then, I can imagine the girls <laughs> like. So why do they call you Big Bear? Was like, um, wait, you, you read are- this book? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, they did. We read it as a group. Oh, oh, like, they did. We read it oh, they did. To each other. Yeah. Right. Um. So was there a lot of the word throbbing in these books? Nope. No, the thing it was very possessive, though. <laughs> very it was possessive. like, you are Big Bear's second wife. Oh. And then you it are was a little like, bear. No cultural No, white bear. It's white bear. white bear. You are white bear. Oh. White bear died. Oh and God. then she became the next white bear uh-huh. for him. He was Big Bear and she was white bear. Is that because she was a white woman? Oh, what do you think? Probably. Oh, what do you think? Wow, that's so very appropriate. This book sounds... It was actually not okay. Uh, Yeah, it was actually not okay that you guys snuck smut into the bedroom and read it out loud to each other. No, no, she's (laughs) saying, oh, MG. That stuff is like, you know, his throbbing, blah, blah, blah. No. Reached her throbbing, blah, blah, blah. You seem to know a lot about this. I read one smut book for book book Was it forever? No, Forever's not a smut book. It was Forever. No, was we forever. read a smut book for a book club here. And was I was like, oh, my God. I don't remember what that was called. I've blocked it sure, out of my brain sure. entirely. Well, you Either remember way. the word throbbing. Our cousin Laura recommended it. Oh. <laughs> That's concerning. Because she said romance novels are like really, really. Uh, romance novels are really um, get a bad rap. And so I was like, well, recommend one and we'll read it. And oh, so they we get a did. bad rap, throbbing big bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we were the gift. Oh, you thank you, Halston. Our, the the, gift. We read something called the oh, gift. Oh, I remember you talking <gasps> about that. Oh my god! Where you Lord. were like, was it? Was it? Or maybe that was forever on like a ship. They were on. Oh no, the gift forever yeah. is not on a ship. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, forever. it's yeah. <laughs> there was like a, a forever ship is a guy. pretty accurate novel about someone's first love, first love, yes. first time having sex, so. first time breaking up. <laughs> It's like a first romance novel for a senior in high school. Oh, well, missed the cutoff. <laughs> oh, no. But it's, pretty, it's pretty accurate. It's graphic in some ways, <laughs> but it's accurate. Mom's like, it's a picture book. The gift is like, <laughs> <laughs> the gift is like, she hit him with a parasol and then she fainted. And you're like, what? <laughs> Yeah, you said like she fainted or she was caught by him like a lot of times. And she was just like this damsel. She was a damsel. She kept making stupid mistakes that he'd have to save her from. And she had all these mishaps with her parasol. It was just ridiculous. Why would the parasol? But, you know, you have to say some people really do. It's a huge industry. And some people really do enjoy those books. So they're just not I could not not imagine being a damsel. I don't think that lifestyle would be for me. I Damn. can imagine it. I couldn't be it, though. No, I couldn't. I'm like, sorry. You wanted to be a trophy wife. What is the difference between no, a do you trophy remember wife and that a damsel? car ride we had to the dentist where we were talking about, like, boyfriends? And Isla goes, I want my first <laughs> boyfriend to be very pretty so I can look at him and watch him do things. And we were like, <laughs> I do, I do. We were like, what? She's like, I just, I don't want to touch him. I don't want to be near him. I just want to watch him do things because he looks pretty. I was like, Isla, what? I do remember that. I do. And you were serious. Well, you know, priorities, you were... priorities. You got to have priorities. Oh, the priorities to go watch a pretty man do something. <coughs> and Same then thing faint. as watching dad. What? Uh-uh. <laughs> no, watching dad man. do things is stressful. Mm-hmm. Watching him cook makes me itch. 
Why? Because he gets his hand. Oh, she gets like his hands like, yes. and then he like, and then everything smells. is dirty, and then everything smells. And his then beard smells. He'll what he'll do is he'll sneeze in his hand, hand, and then he'll ignore it. Like when we're at a restaurant, we were at a restaurant one time, and he sneezed in his hand. And then he had some food that he was eating with his hands, like wings. So he sneezed in his hand, picked up a wing from the communal like pile of wings and then ate it. And I said, you realize you just sneezed in your hand and touched the food everyone's eating? He was like, I did that. It's like, yes. And so he did it. He, the second time he did it, he sneezed in his hand. I go, ah, wipe your hand. And he went, oh. I wiped it on his shirt. I was like, oh, yeah. He's okay. in his own world sometimes. Would you say that's accurate? Big bear. Big bear? Am I white bear? <laughs> what are you? Please Baby no. bears? No, I am eagle. <laughs> You're bitty bear? Oh, I'm eagle. I'm bittiest bear. Bitty bear and bossy bear? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not bossy. I'm not. She's Goldilocks. You're not bossy. I listen to my tone of voice sometimes, though, on this podcast or yeah. in general and videos, and I go, why does why like, no one hit me yet? Because sometimes I say Do things. You want me to? No. Because sometimes I say things and I go, oh, it's just not what I meant, but it's the words I mean, just not the tone of voice. Yeah, the I tone. Mean. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Isla. Yeah. 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 I've okay, pointed that out true. to you once or twice. Okay. You're like, listen to how you're speaking. What? I don't realize it. What? I know. We all do that sometimes. Because I say something I and then I go, oops, my bad. Are you joking? No, she doesn't. You don't me. do that. She doesn't more Isla, than me. I called oh, Isla King Joffrey. And she got so <laughs> mad. <laughs> I was like, Isla, you're acting like King Joffrey. She goes, no. She has hints of Joffrey. Your dad oh, hints? might be. Hint, dad is has Joffrey. hints of Joffrey, but but there's no evil in either one of them. Not there's like no true evil. evil. It's just like the <laughs> send Joffrey to his room, like that. They just Sometimes want what you they need want. To be just sent to your room. They want what they want. Yeah, immediately. Isla reminds me more of Arya Star- Stark. Don't say that. You're more of Arya. Your ego. We can't figure out who you are. You know who she may be? Egret. No, Cersei. No, she's not Cersei. What? She's not Cersei Lannister. But she may be Egret. Who the? Who is that? The John wildling? Snows. The redheaded wildling? No, 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 no. She is not that woman. You don't think Why she's do Egret? No, no, I, I hate that woman. Yet. Why? What? I don't like oh, her. Oh, you haven't watched enough. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you dropped out. Damn, you, you, you're, you're a quitter. Mm. Okay, suck. You shouldn't understand. <laughs> no, I just need to do my homework. Oh, likely oh, story. I was like, Mom, you remind me of the hound. <laughs> Imagine. I remind you of the hound? I'm pretty matter of fact. <laughs> He's pretty matter of fact. He really he does is. not like fire. <laughs> Who am I like in there? The hound? <laughs> no. I no. look like the hound lately. No. I think um, you have hair. I'm just a killer. Like Who are hound. you? You are the dragon. The dragon? No, you're not the dragon. No, you're the brother Who? that got boiled in the second episode. <laughs> The brother that got boiled? <laughs> no, that's horrible. I don't think I'm in. Maybe I'm not a Game of Thrones. You are. You are. I you're not a you're goddard. The, you're the knight. Uh, Jamie's friend. I forgot her name. Brienne? Brienne. <laughs> you think I'm Brienne? <laughs> I heart Brienne. You're I, Brienne. Heart I her love too. her. She's pretty great. She is. She reminds me of you. She gets... I don't know. She's a lot more serious than I am, though, wouldn't you say? She's very that's serious. True. And then maybe you're Tyrion. Oh, she's devoted. Knight. She's devoted. I'm um, Tyrion? No, his, his knight. His, his name? Oh, Brawn? Bra- <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm quite that you're casual Braun. or loose. No, you're, um... I may be the hound. You're Hodor. You think I'm Hodor? <laughs> all I say all day long is Hodor, 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 <laughs> well, you Hodor. Know, what about the He's, witch? What the witch lady. No! The red oh woman? Oh, my God. No. I'm not the red woman. The red no. Woman. Oh, exactly you mean the you wildling mean. that's with the Stark boys? Yeah. That's, she's not a witch. She's a wildling. Well, she looks like a witch. No, she doesn't. No, she she's does a wildling. Not. You with her crazy hair. See, you stop watching. Her hair's much better now. Yeah. You're just, just a quitter, You're Isla. so annoying. I'm not a quitter. <laughs> Isla, you all the time get up my booty for not watching shows with you, and it's because you stop at, like, the most inconvenient place Because you guys don't... Show. You, you're like, you know what? No, we what watched it four times in a row with you, and all four times you fell asleep. That's because I'm tired. So I completely oh, really? understand. So, but you're not but in school. To me, I feel like then what? Oh, then you're just not that into it. What? Yeah, you fall no, asleep I just four get, times. So when she goes to school, I'll back it up and start over with you where okay. we left off. Okay. Okay, I'll watch it over again. And then I'll finish the series. Uh, Well, I mean, only on like a watch party with me. <laughs> and then I'll be watching... Like season two, episode eight, and season five, episode five at the same time. I love this show. Wait, what? Where did you end at, Isla? 
Where did I end up? You were in remember. season two. I think you we were could, in season we could two. We can figure it out. Hey, we went ahead when you weren't there. Isla, we're in season four. You guys are in episode three or four. Wait, mom. Well, what are we supposed to do? Season. What are we supposed to do? Yeah, but she's leaving for college. Yeah. What am I supposed to do? I'm spending time with my daughter. Yeah, and we love it. Then neglecting, I'm going to daughter. have the rest of the year with you. I I want to give me. I want to give Is you so many burden? spoilers. No, I mean we can. I can back up to where we left Is off with you burden? and continue on. Of course, it's not a burden. Yeah, burden. I love you. No, I kidding, do. I kidding, love you I'm very kidding, much. I'm, kidding, I'm excited to look at watch it with you at your pace. Isla, can I give you a spoiler? No, no, <laughs> no spoilers. Does the egg like? <laughs> have you even seen the dragons yet? Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, she's she's they, they're in the maze right now with the one seeing guy with and then they she killed them. Oh, you're so far. Remember in the house of the undead or something? Yeah, Undying. where she goes and sees her what's his name? Drax. No, that's not uh, that's from her Guardians man. of the Galaxy. Her man. Uh Aquaman. Uh Jason Momoa. Yeah. What's his name? I don't remember his name. Um, Dorthak. Dothraki. He's the Dothraki. I saw this um video on TikTok and it was a girl reenacting how Daenerys speaks to the Dothraki and it was so funny. It was. Yes, because like the girl is doing something normal and then all of a sudden her like face tenses up and she goes la 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 I was like <laughs> So I was saying this to Georgia a couple of really big episodes have happened that we will not tell you no. about. Oh my god. But big there's, Isla. there's one where Georgia like was hand over mouth like this for like Five minutes straight. Because was it because you, of the gore? What? No, it wasn't because of the gore. It was because she couldn't believe what was happening. Yeah. Couldn't believe what was happening, right? Because mom told me she was like, during this segment of the show, like as we were approaching that episode, she was like, just so you know, you will scream out loud. And I screamed. And yeah. then Izzy woke up. And will I was someone like, will someone betray? No, I'm not telling you. You'll wait. Just say, we'll wait to see. It's like one of the most amazing episodes it was insane and what i was saying to georgia was i think this is probably one of the last times that everybody i knew was watching the same show at the same time every week because game of thrones still came out like i don't remember what it was like every friday or something and so everyone that i knew was watching this show it's so crazy. everyone that i knew as soon as the episode was over you start texting each other like oh my god can you believe this happened oh my god like everybody, I think this is the last show. I mean, hope it's not, but it definitely will be a while before there's another show where every single person you know is watching it. And when that episode happened, no, it was Euphoria all... was like that. I didn't watch Euphoria. I though. haven't seen Euphoria. No, I know, but I'm saying it was the same thing. Like we would get to school, like it would. I don't remember what day it came out, but we would. It would come out, and then the next day at school, that's all anyone was talking about. Yeah. I didn't really like Euphoria. But yeah, it's pretty dark, right? Yeah, yeah, it was just depressing. I was like, why am I watching this? Yeah. Because if I watch something, I want to be entertained. And it was entertaining, but it was just depressing. So yeah. I was like, this is not how I want to end my school day where I've been sitting in the sun for right. eight hours sweating. And now I go home and watch kids do drugs. I'm OK. <laughs> I don't need that. <clears throat> well, this one episode that I was talking about. I was like, everybody and you talked about this for like a week. It was so good. It was crazy. It's crazy. So I can't wait for you to see it. I can't wait to see it with you. So you have to wait for me, Isla. Yeah, no, you actually have to. <laughs> Do you feel betrayed? Mm, good. <laughs> now I'm spitefully not going to watch because you don't touch now my Now you're spitefully not going to watch it? Fine, I'll spoil no, it for I, you. No, I am going to watch it. I'm just saying that. Because you guys, because you, you just got to get some Because you revenge. guys are so mean. I also didn't know how many actors were in different shows that are in Game of Thrones. Right? Like, there's a guy, a random guy from Harry Potter. Yeah. There's a girl from this show, Skins. Is it Draco? Mm -hmm. No, it's mm -hmm. um, it's the king with all the daughters. Uh, oh, he's the rat. The he's the... He the cat person. Yeah, he's um he has a the cat. hall monitor or something in uh Harry Potter. Oh, okay. And then Gilly from the show, she was in a show Skins. Uh-huh. Like a really popular TV show I think in the UK. And then the in Maze Runner, we just watched Maze Runner, Newt in Maze Runner is the yep. is in is the other Game of Thrones. Uh -huh. I love Newt. I love Ray Maze Runner. <laughs> I love me too. Who else? And obviously uh Sansa is like a Marvel character. She is? Uh-huh. Sansa? Which oh, one Marvel is Sansa? Character. Again. 
Sansa Stark, to the redhead, the tall redhead. Yeah, she's, she's a Marvel Joe Jonas's character. Wife. <clears throat> she is Joe Jonas's wife, but she's also some Marvel girl. Who? X Men. She's an X Men. What? What's the difference? I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's 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 a Marvel movie. It's oh, she's just an X- a different. Yeah. She's an X Men. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but okay. um, who else? Okay, let's let's go off topic. Okay, let's go off topic. Oh, stop. Okay. Oh. Touching my um, toes. Georgia stop touching my has toes. a day and a half left, and then you go to college. How are you feeling? I want to go so bad. Hey, it, don't um, say that. It was really hard because I'm the very last person to leave, and everybody likes to remind me of that. So everyone who still sees I'm home goes, you're still here? And I'm like, yes. And then they go, when do you leave? And I tell them when I leave, and they go, oh, so you really are the last one. And I go... Yes. And I have been thinking about that since the beginning of August. So thank you very much. Yeah. But I would being the last one is nice because I get more time like at home and with my family. But it's hard because all my friends left in basically August. Like there were a few that left in September, mm-hmm. but everyone's ba- like already started school. Like we were talking about how Max is already a quarter done with his first semester and I haven't even started. Really? Yeah. yeah. He's like five weeks in. Damn. Yeah, so I just like it's it's nice to uh, not be in school yet, but at the same time, everyone's already kind of started college, and I'm still here, and it's I mean it's nice to be at home, and it's nice to have like more time before you go, but at the same time, you feel I'm like you're in a so holding ready. pattern, right? You're yes. like a holding pattern. Yes, I just don't, and I mean. I'm like as it's approaching, I'm feeling like a little bit more nervous where I'm like, oh, I have to make more friends. Like I have to start over and I have to get used to and I need a day planner. (laughs) (laughs) I need a calendar. Oh, I can't have a toaster. This is like my last real shower, like all this stuff. Yeah. But I'm so ready to go because I just want to start. Yeah. Because the anticipation's a lot worse than I know an actual baby. So I'll be like really nervous but like oh i'm not gonna make any friends i'm not gonna like my roommates blah blah, blah. but then i'll get there and it'll be fine so i just want to get there yeah i wonder if part of it is is good that you're leaving this late you get to hear what all your friends what daisy and ellie that's and true Sophia, that's uh, true because Justin they'll facetime Berkowitz me and... like um sophia facetimed me while i was packing mm-hmm. she was like oh like i brought a lot more party clothes than i thought i needed so make sure you bring a lot of basics and then, of course, Daisy said the exact opposite. She said, Shocker. I didn't bring enough party clothes, so I ordered $50 worth of them online. I was like, okay, Daisy. <laughs> She's so funny. <laughs> so I know. I love Daisy. I didn't bring enough party clothes. She's oh like, do you God. want me to try them on for you? Okay. I tried all of them. On. Like, okay. <laughs> she is a hoot. Um, I went to see a friend who's in college already, and I stayed there for two days, three days, and... No, two days. And I got to kind of see, you know, like what living in a dorm would be like. I got to get like inspo for what I wanted my dorm to look like. Oh, yeah. And I understood like, oh, you know, like this is how often she really sees her roommate. This is how blah, blah, blah works. Like this is the shower that I will have to be using or something similar. Did she have a similar shower to your situation? Because you have a communal shower. Yeah, like, she has a communal hall. shower. Uh-huh. You're like in pitch perfect. Oh, I yes. know. Everyone is talking. They're like, have you had your pitch perfect moment yet? <laughs> no I oh my god that. i'd be so freaked out if i, I had a pitch perfect oh, moment I but um i mean i think another uh interesting part about going to college is i'm hearing about a lot of my friends that are going that are learning things i always knew they needed to learn but mm-hmm. it just kind of sucks that they have to learn it in the way they're learning it really like what i have a perfect example please so i have one friend that I've known for a pretty long time and she's going to a really big school mm-hmm. and she was always really social in our at home because, you know, it's easy to be social with people that you've known since you were in kindergarten with. I'm not telling you, Isla. Um, Will you tell us right after? Now. Yeah, I'll tell you after. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so it's easy to be friends with people that you've kind of grown up around or like, you know, like especially where we live, everything's pretty connected. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it kind of is like a small town. So you'll meet someone and you'll be like, oh, what school are you from? And then you know, like five people from that high school or middle school. Yeah. So she was always really social here. And she was planning on going to this really big school because, you know, she'd be social. Um, But I always kind of knew that she relied heavily on being very comfortable here Mm -hmm. and was very blindly looking at college like that. Like Mm -hmm. she just blindly thought like, 
oh, I'll just I'll just be comfortable in college like I am in my hometown. And, you know, like she never really moved schools. She always kind of knew the same people. And then I know who this is. Oh, I know. I'll tell you. I think Um, I know who this is. Do you? But then she went to this really big college and she got really insecure and really kind of timid because she realized she never had really like made friends like with her personality. She kind of made them through relation like, Mm. oh, you go to that school. Oh, I know you. Yeah. But she wasn't like comfortable in herself enough to go out in college and be like, oh, no, no, like this is who I am and I'm okay with it. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's always something I wanted her to learn when we were in high school, because when I knew her, when it was one on one, she was a she was a very different person than she was in a social setting. I think I know who you're talking about. You can ask. Re- what? No. OK, we'll do it later. We'll do it. Later. No. Okay. Think, no. Um, but. Anyways, when it was one on one, I would always tell her, like, you know, I think you're being a little too like self-preserving. I think you should show who you really are. I feel like you're just kind of following the crowd. And I know that's not who you are. And I know it's scary, but like show everyone your personality because personality is a lot more interesting to people than just, you know, what's popular right now. Mm -hmm. So if you show your personality that I know you have, you will be fine. And she didn't do that in the beginning of college. And I think it really like set her back. Mm. So it's kind of cool to watch and be like, oh, well, you kind of need this lesson of like you right. need a personality to be social or not a, a personality, but you need to be comfortable with yourself. It to takes be, some effort. Yeah, it takes effort. Yes. And so it's interesting to see people learn those lessons that you kind of knew they needed to learn. Mm-hmm. Now, what lesson do you think you're going to have to learn? I'm going to have to learn to be a lot. I already know my lesson. Well, I want to show you think you know her lesson. Let's see if you know it. No. Go ahead. I think especially in front, like I think I'm pretty grounded when it comes to this is what I need to get done. I have schoolwork and I can balance a lot better than I thought I could because mm-hmm. I just think I can. I hope I can. But I'm pretty OK in that. I think I just need to be particular with who I surround myself with, mm-hmm. because I think if I surround myself with people that you know are not going to set time aside for studying or only focus on partying or only focus on school I'll be really unhappy Mm -hmm. so I think I just need to be very particular with who I surround myself with which is going to be really hard in the beginning of college because Mm -hmm. you don't know anyone like you're new but I think like that's what I'm going to try and work on so how do you do that I don't know. Talk to people. Yeah, I I guess like you just try and expose yourself to as many people as possible. Like Mm -hmm. that's what I would do is I would go and be as extroverted as I can be. And then usually the people that I click with, like Daisy's a perfect example. Like I was trying to be as social as I could be freshman year. It wasn't very successful. And I fell Mm -hmm. in with a group that was really sweet, but they just weren't my vibe. Like we didn't we didn't have like the same energy. Mm hmm. And I the group as a whole. Yeah, the yeah. group as a whole. Um, And so freshman year, I started talking to Daisy and we really got along. And then we didn't really talk sophomore year, but junior year, we like kind of got back together. Well, sophomore year, you were in a pandemic. Yeah, well, that's definitely why. Yeah. Um, But junior year, we kind of like we always stayed in contact. Like we always would find an excuse to talk to each other. And then she just randomly was like, oh, can you drive me to school? And I started taking her to carpool and then we became like best friends. Mm -hmm. And so I think um, if you expose yourself to as many people as possible, the people that want to stick around you or like you will stick. Mm -hmm. And then those people you can decide, oh, I actually really like you. or Oh, maybe you're not a person I need to spend every day with, but you're cool. Or someone that's like, oh, you know what? You're not you're not who I'm looking for right now. I'll see you at a party and I'll say hi, but I don't think I need you right now. So I think that's what I'm going to try and do. That's good. One of the things you can do is to uh, do something you are genuinely interested in, like join a running club or a hiking club club. or a crochet club. Or, (laughs) you know, if you really like working out, go to the gym regularly and try to meet people there. There's at your particular school. There's a lot of places to hang out on campus. There's like wellness centers and and uh, like um, fitness centers and yeah obviously a library or whatever. I think there's, you have to, I know when I moved, when we moved, there's a hair on my mic and I keep seeing it move. Mm -hmm. Um, When we moved here, 
to this neighborhood or to the neighborhood where you guys were in elementary school, I thought to myself, I'm going to volunteer because volunteerism is important to me. I mm-hmm. think it is important to volunteer. There's opportunities to volunteer in the classroom, and I'm going to do that. And when I do that, I will find people who think like I do. Now, I, I, my inarguably, my closest friends came from those volunteer ap- opportunities. Like, absolutely. Sandy, Kathy, Lynn, Jeannie, um, Paula, uh, Jennifer Cowgill, all these wonderful people, Maura, came from that mindset of volunteerism. Well, I'm not best friends with all of them, but I have a large group of people where we have a similar value system. So I think that's important when you start thinking about finding friends is that you find places where that value system lines up. Like Mm -hmm. at our orientation, this one girl said the best thing I ever did was join the running club. I love to run. I run every day by myself. I don't need anybody to run with me, but that's how I met people. And you meet people in all majors you know, business major, yeah. engineering major, science major, business yeah. major, yeah. history major. Yeah, but all all types of people like to run. So she said so some of her closest friends are from the running club. So I think that's a good way, not just when you go to college, but when you go through life, if you find like, you know, I've lived in a lot of new cities and that's how I met a lot of my friends. That When I moved to New York City, I volunteered in the soup kitchen every Sunday. Um and that's one of the ways I've met one of my friends. I met friends in acting class because mm-hmm. we all liked acting. And so really knowing who you are and what works for you without any other person and then finding where those opportunities exist in other places is a really good place to start. Yeah. So you'll meet people in class and you can rush a sorority. You could play I was just going to do that just to say I did it and to meet people. I don't think I want to join a sorority, but I think I would rush to just rush. You can rush to rush and you can rush to join. And no one will no one will judge you if you join a sorority and no one will judge you if you don't join a sorority. This is Zay Zay. Anyway, I love her background. It's like jellyfish. Oh, yeah. Favorite animal. Um, Um, I think that's a good a good perspective to have as college is such a. I'm going to read you this. Wait, I had something to say before you okay, read go that. Ahead. Such a wonky thing. Uh, yeah, pause on the reading. Um, okay. I was going to say like a weird part, which I think has kind of changed since, you know, you moved in different cities and stuff is there's, I don't know if there is this much now in college, but it was definitely like this in high school, but I can't speak for college because I'm not in college yet. Um, but there was kind of a weird stigma around being passionate about things Mm -hmm. like if you weren't passionate if you were passionate about something you were a dork like no it um like anime or something that um it's not like socially accepted by popular people Mm -hmm. like some really popular people if they didn't like anime like that's a weird way to phrase it but that's just an example um it wasn't cool but if you liked something that society kind of liked then it was cool uh you don't think that existed when i was in high no, school no no i'm saying like <laughs> totally like did. Uh, i know it existed when you're in high school but i'm saying like the the range for it is like lessening so there are less things that are becoming acceptable i am so glad you brought this up why because you are going to love college so much because most colleges that doesn't really exist. Well, yeah, I would. That's why I was saying I can only speak for high school because mm-hmm. high school is very hormonal. High like, school is very hormonal. <laughs> everyone, so are the everyone people in just, high school. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But like, once you get to hormonal. college, especially as college as large as what you're going to, you can be as anonymous or as known as you want to be. And and sincerely, I mean, like. It, it does not matter. A college is a completely different ball game, and in so many positive ways. Here's what I want to read to you. It oh. may, it may. So we just read this book. This was our last book club book. It's called "Where You Go Is Not Who You'll Be." I thought for me, it's already kind of how my, mine and dad's philosophy is with college. We want you to go to a place where you can experience the most enriching opportunities, whether that be educational, study abroad, uh, social emotional life skill adulting yes. living in a new yes. adulture like a whole no. one yet yeah, to be an adulterer yes no 
Okay, but this I think is so important. I read it out loud. I'm going to read it to you. College is a singular opportunity to rummage through and luxuriate in ideas to give your brain a vigorous workout and your soul a thorough investigation to realize how very large the world is and to contemplate your desired place in it. Well, that's what college is. High school is about learning uh, on, on an even playing field. Everyone needs to learn about the Constitution. Everyone needs to learn basic grammar. Everyone learns algebra. Everyone learns chemistry. There's very little choice involved in high school. But in college, you get to go, who am I? And who do I want to be? And how do I enrich that person? Because that's different for every person on the planet. Yes, you still have to take English and math and, and basic stuff in college. That's like high school. Not in the UK. But it's okay. not, but it's not God, the same. So funny. It's not the same. If you wanted, you could take freshman, you could take freshman English as your sophomore year and take other things if you wanted to. Now that's not normal, but you mm. could. But you couldn't really do that in high school. So True. college, you get to really decide who you are and you by the way when you graduate college you won't really know either oh i don't think i'll know who i am until i die no well <gasps> whoa that's no, a that's a dark that. thing I, I know who i am i know who i am pretty well <laughs> um but <laughs> oh my god <laughs> what do you think i love what do you think oh, georgia is going to ha have be her hardest thing to learn in college i don't mm. want this answer actually hey y'all why? Um, don't, be curious. Don't be defensive. <laughs> She's gonna be like, because oh, be curious. Shave. Because you know what? She may she may say something you hadn't thought of that would Georgia? be very helpful. Or she's gonna insult me. I'm uh, not gonna insult you. That's mm -hmm. you. Are, no, just go. Just go. Repeat the question. <laughs> what do you question. think will be um, challenging or the uh, most challenging thing for Georgia in college? I think missing her mother. I agree. I agree. Text your mom <laughs> pillow. <laughs> right. I think blossoming will be a little difficult for her. You do? Yes. Why? Blossoming. Because so. I feel like you're not going to be fully yourself with the friends you make at first. She's saying the exact same thing you just said in a different way. What you said was, I'm afraid I'm going to have a hard time finding my people socially. Oh. And she basically just said the same thing. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid you're not going to, you're going to have a hard time blossoming to who you really are with the people that you choose in the beginning. Well, that's just how I am with friends in general in the beginning. Like that's I've always, how everyone is, but I just think that's going to be a big learning curve or not learning curve, but like a big bump. So, no, well, I mean, like I only, I know what you're saying. I'm not, no, I'm not but saying nobody's you're nobody's wrong. defensive. This is all a helpful, I'm saying this is what I, like this is what usually happens is like, you know, people make friends and they're fake, not fake, but they're not who they really are until they're very comfortable. Like, I, that's how I've always been is I'm not really relaxed with friends or I'm not who I really am until I'm very comfortable with them. And I'm, and I'm positive that they kind of deserve my time in a way like that sounds kind of bad. But I mean, I'm like if I have a friend that I'm kind of uncomfortable with, kind of on the fence with, like I don't know how I feel, then I'm not my very true self which is what you're saying mm -hmm. so i feel like when it's a completely new environment and i have to start over again i think i was right i might just be very not real georgia until i find actual friends and that'll probably take me a while which is gonna you are a bit of a chameleon which is a gift oh, and a I'm curse a Gemini. you are a bit of a chameleon mm -hmm. where some you will be you will morph into the group you're with um, and that's really a gift in a lot of ways. You could go into a boardroom or you could go into, you know, a roller skating rink. You, you could be a go, psychopath. No, okay. that's not what that okay. is. No, that was mean. <laughs> no, I wasn't mean. So, I was, I didn't mean. I was, I think you can go into it. different scenarios and figure out what's necessary to be in that scenario. Wait, pause. Can I say something really off topic? Okay. Isla told me you thought I was bipolar because I sang to myself when I was a kid. I've never said that in my entire life. I don't know what she's talking about. No, 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 no. I've never no, said I thought when, Georgia was bipolar. Not ever. Quarantine and Georgia would always just like burst out singing like, ah, you were, you were I, pulling me aside and saying, 
she's bipolar. <laughs> no, I, that was a hundred percent a joke. Mom. If I said that, I it was well, you not said true. it very often. I did. She may be bipolar. I'm not bipolar. No, I don't think you're bipolar. You're just a Gemini. I know someone who's bipolar. You do? You know someone who's bipolar. I do. You do. I do. Who? Car accident. Oh, yeah. I'm, we're related <laughs> to someone who's bipolar. I know um, her. When you say know her, that's different than we're related to. I well, you know her. A wider net. Anyway. I don't know her. You got me off topic. Uh, chameleon. You are a chameleon, which is good and bad, right? There's a lot of good. But the bad is sometimes you present yourself as a lizard when really you're like a, a chameleon. A chicken. A, chi- are you, a chicken? Yeah. Are you? Are no, you, can you use a braver animal? Chickens are very brave. Yeah. Have you met Lucy Lou? <laughs> She's dead. <laughs> chickens are very brave, sort of. Chickens are not brave. They, 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 they can, can be fly. brave. I, we would walk out and they would run away okay, from fine. us. Okay, fine. Well, you Charlotte present yourself brave. as a lizard and Charlotte really- was a bot. No, she wasn't. She was a little- Yes, bad. she was. You're going to make me emotional. Charlotte was- such a Charlotte was temperamental. She loved me. She did. Yeah, that's it. She Guys, loved she loved me. She loved she no one else. Uh, wait, are you an indecisive She person? was a loyal chicken. What? Am I indecisive? Yeah. Yeah, why? God. What? <laughs> <laughs> Isla, what? <laughs> hey, just wait. We're going to roast you when it's time for you to go to college. Well, I'm you sorry. I'm not- a decisive person. Yes, you are a decisive person. I don't know that George is completely indecisive, but George is a chameleon. So she's going to morph with whatever the group does sometimes. And sometimes that's really a superpower. Mm. And sometimes it's not. Yeah, Just so like being really superpower. decisive sometimes is a superpower and sometimes it's not. How is sometimes it not? it's annoying. Because it's rigid and it's then it's your way or the highway. And that's not always You're fun the for same. the other people. The I didn't say yeah, I wasn't. Both of you are the same. And it's so annoying. And so be a chameleon. Can I finish my freaking thought, please? Yeah, you... <gasps> You're Fuzzy killing bridges. me. The... <laughs> so that is in line with what you said may happen when you go to college when you're trying to figure out who you are. Yeah, so that's but... what I'm trying to avoid is not avoid being a chameleon. Mm-hmm. Just avoid doing it to a fault. Yes, that's, that's all life yeah. is. Same with someone who's rigid. But should not be you. rigid to a fault. You're, you're, you're. you're I like you're worse. I, I'm not Isla, saying you are that I'm not. Worse. But I, I am, am not worse. Oh, you are, you are so much worse, worse than me. I'm not worse. God, yes, you're you not with my friends. I'm sorry. <laughs> that made it a, a thousand times worse. A thousand times worse. Well, really? oh no, with my friends. Okay. Regardless, cool. I'll burp on you. You'll have your time in the sun, Little Miss College bound no, at I'm some not. point. Yeah, I wonder um, what you're gonna be like in college. Probably perfect. <laughs> Do you know how to do laundry? <laughs> yeah, I know how to do laundry. Uh, here's <laughs> one thing cool. I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited. Uh, this is a a, a a a a another benefit of being the second child. Yeah, you have so many benefits. Uh, no, I don't. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And here's one of them. You're going to go and help her move into college. Georgia had never really been on a college campus before. Not not in like a fully function. We went to visit them and tour them. But you're going to get to see what college looks like two years before you go. And you're going to get to hear about how college is two years before you go. But one thing you maybe don't know about college is every residence hall has a cafeteria. And there are other restaurants throughout the campus. So you don't have to cook if you don't want to. There's a Chipotle on her campus. There's like, <gasps> Chipotle. Um, there's, a lot there's a Panda campus. Express on her campus. So there's there's Subway. By, there's, and there's pizza. And there's food around too. Yeah, there's if pizza you get tired campus. of eating on campus, there are like But you have like a meal card. Yeah. You don't even have to pay for it. We pay for it when school starts and you just like swipe your card when you go eat in the cafeteria. That slays. So you uh, that does slay. That slays. So it's <laughs> so it's not that complicated. The negative is a lot of people maybe don't make the best choices for meal. That's why they call it what the freshman, freshman 15. 15. And then dad 15 is what? so mean. Pounds. I don't know if I can even say this, but dad will go around. <laughs> he went around college campus with me one time and he would go. That one didn't gain the freshman 15. They gained the freshman 50. I was oh. like, dad, that's, if know, that's me, you can't say anything. Here's the thing about being on your own. And, you know, unfortunately, 
you guys have a little bit of an arrested development and that you had almost two years oh, where you were oh. in a pandemic where Can you, you weren't me? on your own and making your own decisions. So you're a little behind and I'm not even making this up. They told us this at orientation. They were like, we found last year's incoming freshmen were a little behind in some like adulting skills and some like being able to keep up with what's going on and with understanding that when a professor says it's due on Thursday, that's it immovable. It is due on Thursday. Yeah, that, that you know, uh, teachers in the pandemic had really let some things slide. Yeah. And so those kids went to college going, well, this is how it functions, and then had a rude awakening. And the same with, you know, the basic mm-hmm. adult skills. They said one girl showed up and had never used a physical key for her door. <laughs> That's so awkward. So she did not know how to use a key. She had only grown up in a house that had keypad entry. That so she possible. got really confused when they gave her a key, and I was like, "That that's got to be a one off. That's got to be one person." Yeah, but that's a simple example of how some things that are like we take for granted that you would just know how to do that maybe we should have taught you how to do. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um. Well, actually, fun fact. Fun fact. My year had it the worst scientifically. Really? Yeah. Because you, your freshman year? Yeah. Yeah, it did stink. Yeah, I had the best timing. You did, because you got a full freshman year, full senior year. No, I think first graders had it the best. No, I'm saying in high school. Oh. <laughs> we had the, the best older timing. grades. Or if you weren't even in school, then you had it the best. Well, so. You don't even remember it. What are you going to miss the most from here? Hmm? What are you going to miss the most? Izzy. You know what's really funny? Is that orientation. <laughs> I learned so much at orientation. At orientation, they were like, they're going to come home for Thanksgiving and they're going to talk about how much they miss their dog. And they yeah. will act like you do not even exist. They're going to be all well, about the dog. Because you guys are going to be with me for the rest of my life. Izzy only has eight years on this planet. Yeah. And Izzy's... That Izzy, wasn't why Izzy's they said my dire that. wolf. That, she is your dire wolf. She really is. <laughs> we were watching this show or this show. Mona's movie. your dire wolf. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Uh, we were watching. Uh, this can't see. Uh, can't hear. Mona. Blind and deaf. I'm, one of my biggest fears <laughs> is so I'm going to go to college <laughs> and Mona and Gus are going to be dead when I come back. Oh my God, Georgia. Well, Mona probably will pass away for sure while yeah. you're gone. Yeah. I know. I hell? think about that a lot. I think about that's going to be a really bad phone call when I have to call you and tell you that Mona's gone because Mona is fucking on her last leg. No, why? She she's pees herself here constantly. Here. She can't see. She can't hear. She can barely get up and down. She barks great, but uh, yeah, I don't find she barks loud as hell all day long. So her lungs are working. Yeah, but well, yeah, yeah from she's here, sixteen. From here, I'm going to miss my dogs. What are you going to miss from Los Angeles? Oh, oh. No, no, this is a different question. I like that question, that Izzy, but what now? I, this is a diff- new question. From the, si- the city yeah. of Los Angeles. The city of LA. What are you going to miss? I know where everything is. Mm. Like it, when I when someone says, oh, drive to like Sandy last night when she said drive to Woodland Hills and drive to Brentwood, I knew how to get there. Yeah. Um, I'm going to miss in and out yeah. I'm going to miss being able to drive to the beach. And just like the convenience of going, you know what I want to do? I want to go to the beach today and then being able to do it because I could still do that. Maybe if you had a car, but it's different. It's a beach day episode. (laughs) Uh, I'm going to miss. What else am I going to miss? What the I'm literally next. No, I live from the city (laughs) of Los Angeles. I am the landmark. No, you, you are you not are a landmark. <laughs> yeah, I am a landmark. Are you a baby walrus? <laughs> ah. Ah. Um, I think. I don't know. Everyone's like everyone I know is pretty close together. So it's going to be weird to go to college and have to. Like reestablish a community when I have one here. Yeah. And I, it'll be fun. And I think by the end of the day, it'll be like really worth it. Mm-hmm. And I'll really enjoy it. Mm-hmm. And honestly, I feel like it'll be fun just being able to create like a new community. But I'm going to miss the one here. Like I'm going to miss the campers. I'm yeah. going to miss like coming in to my house and like seeing Sandy and then her leaving like five minutes after I see her or last night asking, do you have a rice cooker? I was like, no, <laughs> I don't. 
Okay, I'll get you a rice cooker. Oh, okay. <laughs> thank you, Sandy. Thank you, Sandy. <laughs> Um, but that. What do you think you are not? Oh, gonna my car! Miss? I'm gonna miss my car. Yeah, you're gonna miss your car. So many memories in that car. Well, I'm gonna drive your car from time to time. To you're not gonna running. miss the air. I'm not gonna miss the air quality because yeah. the air quality is, I think, better. Yes. No. I don't think so. I oh, think it is. Awkward. I mean, mm. I. I don't know. Um. What do I know? But I'm not going to miss the heat. Mm-hmm. I don't like being very hot. Hmm. I'm not going to miss the traffic mm-hmm. because when it says 20 minutes to get somewhere, it will actually take 20 minutes driving and not 10 minutes sitting still. Mm-hmm. Um, Are you even going to be driving? This? No, I'm saying like if I have to go somewhere when I'm in college, it'll take like, tw- like 20 minutes is going to mean something different. Like, I know, but okay. like... She's not taking her car freshman year. Uh, they they recommended that she can, but they I can. Were, yeah, you can. It, it costs three hundred dollars oh. to park, which is not a problem. But um, but she said in orientation, she said that uh, unless you have a job off campus, there's no real reason for you to drive a car. If you're living off campus, but all freshmen live on campus. And yeah. she was like, most freshmen find they don't even use their bike, and a bike usually ends up getting stolen. So <gasps> oh. they were like, it's awkward. What about the bird? Don't no. They well, they have bird like skin. rent a bikes yeah. and rent a birds all over the campus. That you like, if you ever really, if you have one class, she said, if you have one class, like two days a week, that's all the way across campus, then rent a bike, take it from A to B, and then leave it, and then you don't have to worry about someone stealing it. Yeah, because it's possible to use a bike. It's just not necessary she said it's so much trouble to make sure it's locked up in the proper place you can't leave it anywhere without locking it so there's no like i'm just going to run in here and grab this it'll get stolen bikes are like the number one crime on campus is bike thievery so theft or thievery that's like thievery better mm. what are you gonna miss when georgia leaves she won't miss me she will miss me a four I'm out sorry, of ten i wasn't asking ten. you she will miss me yeah, a four she out wasn't of ten. asking you i wasn't asking you you know the answer still hasn't changed mom i wasn't asking you and now you've blown it because now you've said all that and she's not going to give me her accurate answer so for you what suck. you wanted was you an answer suck. you just sabotaged you suck no, what are you going Turn to miss when she is gone her, I guess. Her, I oh, guess. Oh, wow. Thanks. Could you be more specific? Probably the plan. And then... The plan? Um, yeah, the, you know, the upstairs plan. Um, and what? Actually, that's more of a priority, not a miss. What? I don't know what you're oh, talking about. Oh, I know what you're saying. She doesn't want to be the only one sleeping upstairs. Because oh. this, you know, the murder thing. Because she wants thing. me to get murder murdered. Thing. But- <laughs> That's why she chose her room because it was the furthest away from the yeah, staircase. We can move the guest room. I don't know. Okay, well, That's, I thought, well, I, okay, that's even sorry. closer to the door. Huh? No, no, no. I thought you were so saying weird. you don't want to be upstairs alone. So oh, you move yeah, because she wants me to get killed first so in a murder good. thing. They want She wants me to be the distraction. No. Well, so you she have can an attack cat. The so <laughs> the cat that growls oh, wow. at my door. Oh, Frankie. <laughs> um, I'll miss the... Um, Back and forth we have in the home. In the home. <laughs> the back gonna be, and forth. It's just going to be mom and The back and, and I. forth we have in the home. The back and forth is in fighting? No. What back and forth? Talking. Oh, to- well, just say that. I'm going to miss talking to you at well, home. Well, because it's just going to be mom and I. Oh, so boring. Stop. I love no, mom. No, I know. You're cool. Now she's going to feel obligated to take care of me, whereas before she didn't. And she doesn't have to take care of me. I am a grown up and I can take care of myself and I am okay. And if you want to go out and party and have a great time with your friends, I don't want you to ever worry about having to take care of me. Now, does that mean <laughs> like you can never speak to me again or you don't have to like have dinner with me like once a month? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying I don't want you to You're worry about mama. taking care of me because I'll be home by myself. I actually have a couple friends who are in a similar to same boat as me, and we've already started making plans. Who? Uh, Sandy and Kathy. They're not. Their kids are similar to same. 
Kathy has uh, someone in college, and Sandy's two kids are never home. They're the most social people on the planet. Aww. So Sandy's home alone all the time. So she's already started calling me going, what are you doing for dinner tonight? Come over for dinner. So I, I'm going to be fine. Not that I don't want to spend time with you. Of course, I always do. But you're supposed to be hanging out with your friends and going to IHOP and getting milkshakes and going to the movies. It's actually and getting. Oh, my God. Sorry. <laughs> you know my point. You yeah. see my point. So I don't want you to worry about me when George is gone. Okay. What else are you going to miss? Percival. No. I'm not going to miss Percival. Are you going to miss me hugging you? I actually don't like hugs, but I'll miss your... What? Miss what? Your presence. (laughs) Why was it a question? You're going to miss your sister. Yeah, I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss your presence. I know you're going to miss me more, though. You're, I think you're going to miss, hey, you want to go to Starbucks? And then you end up um, at Urban Outfitters. <laughs> Didn't happen. I think you're going to miss, hey, can you pick me up from school today and the ride home where you have a good time talking to your sister? I think you're going to miss that. I, I think, think you're going to miss your sister fighting. buying you anime books. Stop. <laughs> I think one thing, one gift of this going to school late is that from Italy to to now, you and Isla have been a lot closer than you have been in a long time. And I think Italy started it. And, and then we fired. And we fought all your Italy. friends leaving was helpful with that. Not that I wanted oh. you to be by yourself. You but instead of you just being by yourself in your room, you've really reconnected with your sister. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I think that's a really big gift. And when you look back as adults, you can go, wow, that was really important. I'm glad it worked out like that. You know, yeah. we didn't plan it like that. It's just how it worked out. The school you chose has a very late start date. That's not anybody's, nobody connived that. It's just how it worked out. Mm-hmm. And I'm really glad that you took your two friends to the lake so that oh my your God, we still sister, talk about it. Well, that your sister got to experience your two friends. And I really do think the end result of that trip to Lake Widawi was that Isla feels really comfortable with your friends. And I don't think she did before. Sadly. Because they're it's yeah. It was cute. Sophia called me today and then I just handed the phone to Isla and they had their own little conversation and I like walked out of the room. That's what to be honest with you, that's what life should be. It should be a free flowing of relationships. And no one gets jealous and no one gets feels left out and no one gets defensive. I know and Georgia no one's wants upset. the plan of when they're older living in the same state. Or yeah. Something. Because you know that you and Daisy and Sophia are going to be friends probably forever. And Ellie are all yeah. going to be friends forever. So for her to feel comfortable to come into your group and be comfortable in your group is really important. Just like it would be pump comfortable, it would be important for you to go into her group and feel welcome and comfortable because separate yeah. separate is healthy but you not separate to the point where you can't it's like a comfortable interact. separate yeah exactly and i don't think isla was comfortable until you went to the lake mm. even though we were in the car with them every single day yeah well daisy in the car was a different breed of yeah that, well, that there was, was, <laughs> there, was, was a, there had to be a trigger car. warning before that oh my god isla and i were sitting in the front and daisy is on one side of the car rosie's in the middle and Lily, her twin, is on the other side. So Daisy's twin. Daisy's twin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Daisy and Lily are twins, if you can't tell by their names. And, oh, well, I guess Rosie. Rosie, hi. Um, Rosie mm-hmm. is Isla and our friend from school that lived, like, a block away from us that we just took to school. And so Daisy and Lily were very quiet this whole car ride because Daisy had texted me previously. I'm very mad at Lily. Oh Lily God. had gotten in the car before Daisy and said... <laughs> I'm very mad at Lily or I'm very mad at Daisy. And we were like, why Lily? And she goes, <laughs> I asked Daisy to turn in this paperwork like a week ago. And she didn't do it. And so we're about to be at school. And Lily goes, she goes, okay, Daisy. <laughs> I can't, this was so funny. She goes, okay, Daisy. I filled out the paperwork. <laughs> All you have to do is give it to Mr. Wilson. And Daisy was already in a bad mood because Lily was pissing her off. And I told her we didn't have enough time to stop at Starbucks. (laughs) She got really mad. So we're driving up to the the school and she goes, (laughs) Lily, I can't do it. Lily goes, (laughs) Lily, I can't do it. This is so funny. Hold on. She goes, Lily, 
I can't do it. Lily goes, Daisy, yes, you can. She goes, Lily, why can't you do it? And Lily goes, well, I, I have I have class immediately. And Daisy goes, yeah, I know we're at the same school. We both have class immediately. She, <laughs> and Lily goes, no, no, no. But my class is further away from Mr. Wilson's office than yours is. And Daisy goes, Lily, <laughs> I can't do it. Lily goes, take the paper. Gives her the paper and Daisy goes, I have no hands. <laughs> I have no hands. And just starts clapping her elbows together and goes, <laughs> I'm giving up the paper. I have no hands. I have no hands. I have no hands. <laughs> so she, I was like, I have no hands. She was completely serious. She's just going, Lily goes, Daisy, enough. I can't do this. <laughs> just take the paper. And Daisy goes, are you being a fucking ableist right now? And Lily was like, no, just take the paper. Daisy goes, I clearly have no hands. <laughs> I, I cannot take the paper to Mr. Wilson. She goes, Daisy, you're being so mature. Daisy, Daisy goes, I'm not being immature, Lily. I have no hands and you are being ableist because I have no hands and I've struggled with this for my entire life. And I'm driving up this hill and I was pissing laughing and we get out of the car and Daisy goes, can someone open the door for me? <laughs> <laughs> and I was dying. Rosie's in the middle of them as they're fighting. Like, <laughs> and she just was like over laughing. She was like cackling so hard. Daisy goes, someone needs to put my backpack on. I have no hands. <laughs> it was so funny. Lily like got oh out of the God. car, stormed off, like ended up turning in the paperwork anyways. And as soon as Lily was gone, Daisy goes, see, that's all you have to do. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't like her then? It was no. <laughs> so funny. It was so funny. Because that's hysterical. We had so many car rides. I have like no that. hands. I have no hands. I have no hands. She's like, Lily, watch me try and pick the paper up. And we'd try and scoop it up. And she goes, See, <laughs> this doesn't work. How am I meant to carry my coffee? <laughs> Can I do this? I was like, Daisy. <laughs> she is hysterical. Oh, she's so funny. Carpool was so fun. Uh, With so da Daisy was so funny. damn funny. She made you late so much, though. Didn't God. God, she was there was one time we oh. were so late there was one time where we had up to like 12 absences Gus no we had like well hold or on late do slips. you remember this we had um it was one random day and Gus was still living in my room yeah. because we'd just moved and my alarm just didn't go off so he like walked on me yeah. and I woke Stop up it. like like at the exact time I needed to wake up before I was like way too late. Yeah. And Georgia Cats came. I woke up. Yeah. I was like, oh my God, I'm late. I ran to Isla's room. I was like, Isla, are you awake? Wasn't awake. So I woke Isla up. I was like, did you sleep your, through your alarm? She goes, yes. So we're like rushing to get ready. We get ready in like five minutes. We're in the car and I'm calling Rosie because I usually call her when we're close. And I was like, where is she? She's not picking up the phone. She picks up the phone as we pull up at her house. She goes, what time is it? I was like, Rosie, you're supposed to be down here right now. She runs downstairs in her PJs, like uniform in hand. She was like, I guess I just slept through my alarm. I don't know what happened. Oh, no. Her alarm didn't go off. <clears throat> so she's changing in the car. We go to, we're driving to Daisy and Lily's house and we go, oh, this is crazy. Like all three of us slept through our alarms. What are the odds that they slept through their alarm? Because Lily like wakes up early, is like has an early day, like it just starts her day before anyone else. So we're calling both of them. Neither of them are picking up. We were like, there's just no way that they slept through their alarm. There was like, so much traffic on Ventura. And so we're driving up their hill, still psycho calling them. And as soon as we're a couple minutes away, Lily picks up the phone and she goes, I'm so sorry. We both slept through our alarm, but oh we're coming God. down right now. They sprint down. Lily's like dressed, ready for the day. Daisy Rich has <laughs> her PJs on, right? She has these itty bitty shorts with like dog, dog paw prints that say like possum. She has this big shirt on. <laughs> hair is in this little bun on the side of her head mostly like swooshed over on top of her head and her uniform is falling out of her hands as she's <laughs> running down the hill and so her uniform her like penny loafers are like tumbling down the hill <laughs> and, and her, it was a formal dress day as well. it was and her blazer's like hanging from her hand her backpack's like at her hand she's like dragging it with her she throws everything in the car and she goes can we please go to Starbucks? <laughs> I was like, Daisy, sure. So we were like so late by the time we ended up getting to school. We were like, you know what? It's fine. We'll just go to Starbucks. Like we're already like 10 minutes late to first period and we're not even off the freeway. Like we might as well just get Starbucks. Right. So we showed up like 30 minutes late to school, 45 minutes late. 
And the two attendance officers just went, oh, Lord. When they looked at us and we were like, just, just don't. What a ragtag bunch. Don't. But Carpo was so fun. I Did you think Carpo. it was fun now in retrospect, Isla? It stressed yeah. you out a lot, didn't it? Yeah, it stressed me out. Why did it stress you out? I don't know. Was it because you were always late? No. I just think it was like. Do you feel like you were like the Lone Ranger with all of George's friends? Yeah, sort of. And then also I just. What was I going to say? Uh, I'd. I'd. I don't have to be right on this, but I'd feel that Georgia wasn't paying attention to the road because her friends were in the car. Oh, so that stressed what? me out. I was paying attention. So you could just say <clears throat> Georgia's driving stressed you out. Yes. No. Oh, okay. You also were a new driver. So <laughs> you were a new driver. What are you, 80? You were a new driver. Well, and that I'm is sorry. And you weren't a driver at all. So. I'm still not a driver. Uh, exactly. Still not a driver. Driving is stressful. Driving is intense in LA. If you can drive in LA, Oh, you mm. can drive probably almost anywhere but like New York and Europe. I was going to say New York. New York is something else. Europe. Yeah. Europe oh, my is, God. New York is something else. And Europe is something else, too. I don't think I would ever drive in New York. It's not as hard as you, you think, but you just have to like, you just have to learn their system. Like their system is different than like law, some laws don't apply. And then there's some like courtesies you don't understand until you drive for a little bit. I have um, no hands. Well, I am going to miss seeing you all the time. I think that we'll, I, I would like to think that I'll still hear from you. You will. Um, I think I'll realize because like, I know when I was, was, who am I, who, what am I saying? When I am in my social peak. Yeah. I forget to text. Actually, I've been better about it, but yes, I used to be really bad at like texting yes, and calling you, you guys. Fucking terrible. Thank you, mom. Um, yes. But I feel like when I'm not seeing you every day and I don't, have to like I'm not well I was never obligated oh, I was kind of obligated yeah, you were. to text you you were absolutely but I'm obligated saying when I was me. when I'm not like obligated to tell you like oh I'm coming home at this time I'll be texting you a lot more because I'll be like how are you how well that's I the know? nature of college I'm not you have to figure out how to function that is healthy and balanced and the nature of college is neither healthy nor balanced so you have to figure that out on your own I yeah. epically <clears throat> failed at it I was Terrible. I don't think I'll fail only because I have so much stress in my body that I feel like it will force me to be. That's honestly why I'm glad I have anxiety <laughs> because I'll just be like, I have to get this done. Like, I can't just blow this off to go I don't know, do keg stands. So I'm going to go home. Like, I think I'm just going to do that. Well, that's good. I mean, I guess um, managing your anxiety is important also because that well, yeah. is a stressor on your body and that's not good. But um he's real. Yeah, they're real. Hostile I was about guys. to I was about to like stab it with my nail. I was no, like, are these gave me this. isn't it pretty? Yeah, they're really pretty. <laughs> they're really pretty Halston. I don't kick this stupid cough. <laughs> well, I was going to podcast about our trip to Italy, but I feel like this was a much better podcast. What do you think? Um, Georgia talked a lot. Yeah. Georgia talked a lot? <laughs> okay. What do you think? Um, well, I didn't do anything. So, <laughs> are you, how do you feel about college? I don't know. I feel like it's going to be easier than high school. You think it's going to be easier than high school? Yeah. Um, why? So it's on my schedule more. Because what? Like high school is more. And then college is going to be like. Well, that is something I think that kids these days don't understand is that you don't go to college from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. five days a week. Yeah. You go to college. <laughs> unless if you're a psychopath. You go to college a couple hours here, a couple hours there. And you have a lot more outside of classwork work. Mm. So you have to be really good at you know, managing your time. So there may be a lot more reading, independent reading than in school, but it's also independent. You can do it on your own time. So the, the trap, the trap of college is when you aren't good at managing your time and balancing your time. Cause you know, they say, if you want to get something done, give it to the busiest person, you know, because they're so busy that they have to get it done. If you have a ton of time on your hands, You'll lollygag around and wait till the last minute. And that's not you. A, that's what people do. Yeah. That's <clears throat> what most people do. Cough, cough, Isla. Is that exactly cough, cough, Isla? <laughs> I've so been working as on much it, though, as it's on your schedule, you have to find a way of functioning where you keep yourself on your schedule because your teacher's not going to go. So read this chapter and we'll talk about it. Usually they're like, read this book. 
and we'll talk about it. It's no. a little more. Wait, <clears throat> Isla can't read though. Isla can read. Not. Isla Wait. can't read though. Yes, Isla can, can read, and and there are a lot more audiobooks and things like that in college. Oh, so. okay, we're good then. And there are be, I'm not like, worried about you for college options. either. I we just have to get you through high school. High school, Jesus. I think, is challenging for you because of its rigidity in certain ways, but. So you've had one meeting with Susie, the college counselor. What do you think about that? I think it's helpful because the things that I knew I would want to do were the things that she said I should do based on. We did what a do test. What do you mean knew you wanted? Oh, in the career wise? Yeah, career oh. test. And it said a lot of artsy things. And then also like psychologist or like F. FBI agent, but I don't know. I don't Social think I want to be an FBI agent. Mm-hmm. But like, those are things that I have considered, and it was all based on like my schoolwork, mm. and like That's it was so weird. All like based on my grades and my classes, and like, I think I had to like submit something about how my final, like what my final for every class was, mm-hmm. like, and for some reason that got like all the things that I've been looking at. So Mine cool. told me I should be a fish farmer. A fish okay, farmer? Okay, that's fun. I was a farm manager. And you were? Officer. That's what it when? My, one of my things said I should be a farm oh, manager. It said fish farmer and police officer. Be amazing. I, I got, I got apocalypse. Um, military. <laughs> I should go with the military. You need TV. Military. I could see you with the slick back bun. You think so? I can't. Seagar. You don't need to. probably have a chip is. in your tooth and be like, hey, hey come over here. A chip in her tooth? Yeah, because you've been a, a working woman. Oh, is that right? In the military. And that makes your chi- teeth chip? No. I've got excellent teeth. My teeth you are do. not chipping. I have excellent um, teeth now. I do, yeah. Um, what else about college, Georgia? When, yeah. who, um, what? Do you have any questions for me? I mean, not really. I kind of heard about your experience already. What? I'm not even in a college yet. I know, but like your experience so far. I know it's the haps. I'm in the know. Okay. So Thanksgiving, you're coming home with any of your friends coming home for Thanksgiving besides Daisy. I have no hands. <laughs> I, have no I hands. love her. Daisy's coming home. Ellie is. Sophia's not. <sighs> so rude. Sophia isn't? Why? No. Because what? she has family in Chicago. Oh. And that's where she's just going to go for Thanksgiving. That's rude. Super that's gonna come that's closer to her school than LA is. Yeah. I so know. she's going to Chicago, um, which is a closer city. Yeah. but And then I think a lot of people are coming home. I think it's like half and half, though. Like maybe mm-hmm. half of the people that are from LA are going to come home. But I think everyone's coming home during Christmas. Uh, yeah. Everybody. Yeah. Because the, <clears throat> the dorms close. The the. Uh, dining halls close usually over winter break. I know dad's going to be a wreck. You think dad's going to be a wreck? Oh, I don't Let's think Let's talk I about know. dad. Yeah, Let's talk about that aftermath. Dad. How do you think dad is going to handle this whole thing? Not good. Thing? Or not good. I'm see. the man who loves you. Oh that God. guy. Oh, my just, God. He's not going to do so hot. <laughs> what do you think? Well, what do you think it's like for him? Put yourself in his shoes. What do you think it's like for your dad? Yes. Well, I know what it's like, but I think it's the Well, lo- then tell me because I'm asking well, can you the I, question. Can I finish my sentence? No. Georgia, uh, stop it. Uh, well, he, I think he brings everything to like a, another level with, with um, most things. Oh, really? So really? I had, no, I'm just saying that. that. You think but, he brings it to another level? Yeah. So I think this is just going to be how everyone would have reacted, but times three. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. Lord. Do you think so, he's going to cry? Yes. You can go. Think. Oh, I that's know. not even a thought. No. I know he's it's going to be for like the next two months. He's going to be th- you think. And when be, Georgia comes home, he's going to be like, you think it's going to be an ugly cry, like 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 graduation like dinner cry. Oh God, that was an ugly cry. Was that it? was a really ugly that was really cry. sweet. Oh, I felt really man. bad that I was so sick that I couldn't. I know you were properly so say sick. thank you. I felt I feel so much guilt for that because I was so incredibly sick. Yeah, and everyone was being so nice, and I was like. I need to go to bed. <laughs> yeah, you were really I was. I felt so bad. Like dad was sobbing and I was like, I'm I sorry. I need to nap right now. Yeah, you felt really bad. I hated that when I went first because I, I set the tone, but the tone wasn't what I set. The tone turned into something different. Yeah, yeah so yeah. then I was like, well, mine sucked. No, it didn't. Yours was perfect. Yours didn't suck. I think I, I kind of feel for him because like, 
You feel for him. He's like, he's not here right now. So you know how many times he said to me this privately, this is not what I signed up for. I did not sign up to love these human beings oh. this much because it is so painful. <laughs> George's face. Rude. <clears throat> no, no. He means it like he didn't understand Dogs are out. what being a parent, the depth of that feeling. Yeah. You know what I mean? I can, I can understand And that. it makes him uncomfortable. That's, this feeling can make him have feelings he doesn't have from anywhere else. That um, are uncontrollable. That he, that he cannot, cannot bottle. No, he cannot help it he can't rein it in he can't logic it away he can't control it it makes him really uncomfortable so many yeah. times since you guys were born he was like this is not what i signed up for <laughs> this is too hard this Pretty. is too much this is too much um uh, obviously he would never change or trade any of it but i think the emotions that come along with parenting are 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 are, are hard for him to manage sometimes he's getting better at it though he was really good today when I called him and he said, was good today. listen, I, I don't know if you're going to be super bored. We're going up there like three days early. You're going to be really, really bored. And we're just going to be shopping. We're going to be like buying groceries and, and, you know, toothpaste and bullshit. Yeah. And he said, you know, I'll, I'll stay home. And I didn't think he would. I didn't think he would do that. I well, didn't either. I kind of push him on that a little bit. Oh, did you? Mm -hmm. Well, I did say on the FaceTime, like, I no, no, can't no get that had you nothing to not. do with it. No. No. You okay. listen, lady, you are not the hero of everything. You, that you is are not, not. You are. You not. Not. Maybe I just have a God that. complex. You might, you might, you might, you might. You I might. think you definitely got it honest from your dad. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Talk. you have to, both of you, be kind to your dad, okay? Yeah. Okay. I feel like I'm going to handle it very well all things considered not that i won't cry or be emotional i think i totally will but this is the goal of parenting the goal is to get you to be an adult so that you can go on with your life the goal is not for you to stay in my house forever not yeah. because because let me tell you as an only child who built a family of four one of which is never home in a couple of years i'm an only child again oh so if you think about it, I constructed something on purpose that's going to fall apart, right? Mm -hmm. I've been lonely my whole life, and I made this unit, and uh -huh. now I'm going to be back to lonely. But the Jesus. truth, no, no, no. But that's you the truth. Be. But the truth of the matter is, <laughs> no, the truth of the matter is, that's my job. My job is for you to go on. Just so, have another kid. I don't have any more kids? But I have so many animals. Oh, I'm not true. really alone. Let's face it. Yeah, Max it's like not wild going anywhere. kingdom in there. But <laughs> has the body size of a child. But the, you're supposed to, as a parent, want your child to leave your nest. If you if you don't, then you haven't done your job as a parent. Mm -hmm. You've become some kind of enmeshed. Um, and not that not that kids don't come back after college and live with their parents till they get on their feet. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about an emotional kind of enmeshment that's unhealthy where you don't want your kids to leave. Like a parasite. You know, your dad has a little bit of that emotional enmeshment where uh -oh. he really doesn't want you to leave, yeah. but wants you to leave because he knows in his brain. It's what needs to happen. That's what needs to but happen. But I'm I know not. in my gut, in my soul, that this is, this is an I'm accomplishment for me. I think he looks at it as if I am dying and yeah, never he does. coming he back. Thinks, well, what he's looking at is himself when he was that age. When he went to college and was like, see you suckers, and never came home unless he had to yeah. and didn't. He he went to college. He really launched in that way, like in the connection way from his parents. And mm -hmm. I think he's looking at how he was and, and thinking that's like how that. she's going to be and I'm never going to see her again. <laughs> you know? So weird. So, Is that sign not working anymore? We leave it off because it, it throws a weird light on the person sitting here. Ooh. Can so. I see that glisten? Well, maybe what? when we're done. Yeah. That's Can I, I mean. see that glisten? Um, anyway, so both of you, please be patient with your dad for uh. the next maybe, I don't know, six months. <laughs> it's going to be a while. I think first, this is the first year with only one kid home. And I think he's going to have a hard time with it. So be patient with him. I mean, I will too, but not mm. the same. I don't take normal circumstances and multiply them by three. Usually. Yeah, why by three? Triple? 
triples a lot. Yeah, triple. triple. At least not t- it's not times five or times ten. Oh, times five. Times oh, five. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Five, 10, 15, 15, 20, 20, 30, 35, 40. So what are you going to miss about Isla? Yeah, what are you going to miss about me? Tell me. Your cat. It's something. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You're thinking of me as a tool. You do it to each other, so whatever. You do the same thing to her. Um, well, four out of ten. I'll miss you four out of ten. Yeah, That's that was so I rude. Know. I that said, was so rude. Guys, I don't I'll know. I'll never forgive you for that. <laughs> no, I didn't know. You don't know the I number I asked four? you again. No, I, I asked didn't. you the other day, Georgia. and you said four out of ten. Yeah, I think four so, four out of ten. No, so, I, oh, it wasn't. Okay. I don't, <laughs> oh, cool. But I said, <laughs> I don't know because I haven't had it happen yet. So why you going to come home for Christmas, and she's going to go, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, George. 10 out of 10. Of she what are you going to miss about Isla? Yeah. Keep your mouth shut, Isla. Yeah. Shut your trap. Shut um, your I'm going to miss her flipping me off behind your back. I don't do that. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> I catch you all the time. You're um, about as sly as a sloth. <laughs> You're not very sly. Both are, will they blend in? <laughs> Depending you on where they are. You did not understand that. Oh, um, oh, because they're slow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, see, slow. <laughs> I love. <laughs> I'm gonna miss. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I'm just gonna miss. This is gonna sound really bad, but I'll explain it. I'm gonna miss the convenience of you. Because I know what you mean. So I'm used as an object in your no, house. No, you don't be defensive. No. Just listen with like, a generous it's, heart It's and be very curious. convenient if I've been like alone all day or like I'm kind of sad or I like I'm social but don't really want to be like have my social battery on. It's easy to just walk down the hall and like go to your room and see you for like two seconds. Annoy me for two seconds? Yeah. Any just to like be with you for two seconds and then... Or even like have you wake me up the other day and say, hey, do you want to go to Starbucks? And then we spend the whole day together or to have you sit I in my room while I pack. Mm, that was that's a different story. Listen to me, please. No, please listen. To her. I am. I am. So I think in college it's going to be hard because even when I was making um, new friends in high school and, you know, like switching groups socially, I still had you at home. So I still had a friend. Mm-hmm. But in college, I'm going to be by myself. So does that make sense? Yes. Does that make sense? Yes. Does it make it sense does. to me? You hey, know, what are you gonna miss about me? Well, I've already asked and answered that. Fine. Anyways, I'm gonna miss the convenience of having a sister. Also, a little sister. Little sisters are fun. Um, I would imagine it's easy friendship. You two seem to have a relatively it's easy, easy friendship. Well, I mean, none, no friendship is perfect, especially with sisters. Mm. But there are some sisters who fight constantly and never see eye to eye and can't get along and couldn't play a board game together and don't help each other ever. That happens more often probably than not. And I don't see that as your relationship. Your relationship is not perfect. But I don't see I don't your think relationship how we fight is perfect. as contrite oh, or how we as... fight is really bad. How you fight is bad? Why? How do you fight? Georgia yells. And then I'm sorry. I say things you don't mean. Yeah, because I want to hurt you because yeah, you're yelling exactly. at me. Exactly. That's exactly. No, because you're yelling at me. Well, howdy doody. I'm not even yelling. Well, I'm not even yelling. <laughs> Look what we're finding out here, howdy doody. I see you you like, yell and you say mean things you don't mean. Because Boy, you want to hurt me. Maybe yeah. we should oh, maybe talk that's to what Jocelyn about this. You're, uh, uh, I've we already should... talked to the, her about this. Uh, you've talked to her. Yeah. What have I said? Nothing. You say the meanest she, shit when we're fighting, Isla. It but is then the worst, most vile thing I have ever heard out of your mouth. You go straight for my ego. Straight for my ego. Straight for my well, self-esteem. Can, go upstairs. And then you come back down and you go, do you want to watch Waze Runner? And I'm like, so can I give you a piece of advice, both of you for fighting? Okay. Mm-hmm. It is never, ever okay to lose control of yourself. Yelling. I don't yell. Stop. Yes, you do. Stop. I and don't. it is never, ever okay to name call under any circumstance ever. It's never okay to defame someone's character. Not ever. You know you do that. Can Look I tell you nostrils. something? No, let me tell you something. Those three things will do permanent damage in your relationships. I'm not even joking. I only do it to Georgia. Yeah. Uh, well, that will do you permanent suck. damage in your relationship. <laughs> 
I only and do but it before you down. know it, it'll bleed into whoever you marry and your own children. You're gonna get and too comfortable with someone and treat them like me, and then they're gonna leave. Yelling at someone, they, won't. they know what they signed up for. Yelling at someone is manipulative. Hmm. I don't yell. Manipulator. I yelling, talk like no, this. You, yelling at someone is immature and manipulative. Name calling someone is immature, and it is <laughs> hurtful. It's it's to hurt because if you want to solve, you don't want to hurt. <laughs> so if you God. want to solve, you don't want to manipulate. Idiot. So if you take any advice from your mother, please. My mom yelled. My mom lied. My mom manipulated. My mom name called. Georgia is your My mom, mom defamed character. My mom what called me say? names all the time. And it's very, very damaging. And you can apologize for it, but at a certain point in time, the apology means nothing because you continue the behavior. Oh, look in the mirror, girl. No, you both are flawed. I know. I'm flawed with your dad. We argue, but I can tell you this. We have never called each other names. Not ever. We have never called each other names. We have yelled at each other and we have in the minute of it called each other out for yelling and stopped. Because sometimes you want to be heard and the other person's not listening. You think louder is better and it's not. And so the other person has to say, stop doing that. And we stop. Respect in arguing is the most important, important integrity you can have is to respect yourself enough to express yourself and what you need and to respect the other person. Because the minute you start name calling, defaming character or screaming, the other person no longer respects you because you've lost control. <laughs> I only do it after she screams, though. That is not true. No, that is true. That is not true that is at so all. True. That is not true whatsoever. Mom, you know it's On true. On no playing field is that true. So tell back to me what I just said. You said that it, when a relationship falls apart, or a way a relationship falls apart, is when you fight, you lose respect, and you start yelling and name calling. What she said, yeah. And defaming character. And defaming character. And that causes the other person to lose respect because they're getting yelled at or name called or defamed of their character. And so there's no proper way to solve anything when all you're trying to do is name call and hurt the other person. Is win. What you're trying to do is win and be in control of the situation. And And the truth of the matter is, if you care about the person, what you should want is to work it out. Yeah. What you should what you should seek in an argument is to understand the other person, because if you are trying to understand Isla, and Isla's trying to understand you, you'll both be understood. Oh, but if that's you, so But if you are just like, no, 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 my point of view. Rigid. And if you're just like, no, 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 my point of view. But what then if the other person's no not listening to your point of view? Then what do you have to do? Then what you do you is you preach. say, I feel that you're not listening to my point of view. What if the other person just continuously says, but I know I'm right and you're wrong? Confrontation. What if the other well, person just yells at you the entire time? One <laughs> of the other person I calls you a manipulator told. and runs up to their room <laughs> and then doesn't speak to you for four hours <laughs> and then goes, Oh, wait, hold Can on. You order sushi? Then, someone called you a manipulator and then manipulated <laughs> you by leaving the situation, not speaking for four hours? <laughs> yes. no, wait, no, no, I, this is not how it works. And then no, besides, swear, and instead of saying, I'm happened. sorry, she leaving said, an well, argument no, without- Georgia said, Go to your room. So then I, I did not say go to your room. No, you did. Let's back that up. I did not say go to your room. I said, why are you going to your room? You started this argument and you don't want to solve anything. And you said, I just can't listen to you anymore. You're manipulating me. And ran up to your room <laughs> and so, slammed your door and then didn't talk so to you for hours. Then you go, at the time, can you drop me off and I hop? Okay, I okay. Here's another. I, oh, I had a migraine. Here's another big hint. But she told me that I was not social and she's done that so much. So That's, I, I did out. not say that. What yes, I you said, did. I, she you don't was go taking out a much. person Quiz. She said you don't go out much. I didn't say and that. I, I didn't say that. You didn't Wait, say that. Listen, you, listen, listen, listen. Go back listen, on the listen, ring listen, camera. You said that. No, exactly. I didn't say that. I said you don't do much. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> I said you don't do much because Isla said Isla was taking a personality quiz and she the question was do you go with the flow or do you like abide by a set plan and Isla was like okay Georgia what do you think I do and I thought about it and I said well you don't do much so I don't know and she was like you can't say that to me no, I was like, like why offended by that stuff I because didn't I do know that. do stuff. And I told you I didn't know that. I just I don't do it as much as she does. When she was said, this argument? A couple of days ago. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> On Friday. <laughs> you clearly got over it, which is good. No, yeah. it was so annoying. Well, I was I like, no, you it. just don't do much. I'm not saying you're not being social. I'm just saying like, 
go in your room and sit with Frankie. Like, I don't know if that's a biased schedule or like. No, 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 no. You haven't seen me lately. I've been going out. (laughs) She just went to IHOP and had mulch. Yeah, George. Wow, you were this weekend. And she went to birthday. I just don't go so fast paced as you do. Yeah, I'm cool. Uh, Oh, that's not nice. That's not nice. Um, Um, Manipulator. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, here's another big hint with fighting. Okay. When you get to college, this is really important. I'm sorry. You've probably already heard this in school somewhere. But using I terms. I oh my God. They taught us that in that? third grade. What is that? Yeah. Where they were like, instead of saying, I feel manipulated. You messed instead up. Instead of you you're manipulated. I, I was like, never taught this. No, they okay, showed well, us. I'm this. Teaching. <laughs> <laughs> that makes so much well, sense. Let me teach you that. That now. adds up so much, I love. Okay. So if, if <laughs> she. That makes so much sense. They made us watch a video about it in third grade and then they had on the board different I terms and U terms. <laughs> <laughs> this is very important. And never yeah. learned. I'm not sure that Georgia practices it. Of course you never learned this. If she if if you feel like she's manipulating you in an argument, what you say is, I'm feeling manipulate manipulated. Not you are a manipulator. Because what you what happens when you say you're manipulating is you're accusing her. Does it just have to be you? You no 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 listen, listen to me. You're accusing her and you're and you're like Putting a label on what she you think she's doing. And the so other person I immediately feels like they need to defend themselves because exactly. you're attacking them by saying you. They feel attacked instead, instead of, of saying, I, hey, I'm protecting myself here. I feel manipulated. That person goes, oh, and they well, feel I more mean to manipulate you. This is like, what oh, I'm really having. You do this anyways. No, you, you just don't. Said, you just said to her, you're manipulating me. And I went upstairs and closed my door for four hours. That so, is true. No, I didn't say that's what you just said. He, 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 I said, I can't do this. And I went upstairs. No, I you didn't. No, this. you didn't. No, you I did say that. Up. Let's go on the ring and camera right if now. If you're going to leave an argument, that's it's always she told me to. good to say, I need to think about this for a few minutes, but I'm not finished. Because if you just oh, go, that your dad does this. This is what, you did, this is what your dad does. Your dad will go, oh, I'm leaving. Oh, I know. He'll be like, you know leave. what? I'm done with this conversation. No, we're I like, don't. We're I don't sitting usually here trying to figure it out. Okay. As long I as you're not doing that. I don't usually do I that. I can't let your don't dad usually. leave. I have to make your you dad leave. You did it last time. Well, you know what your dad said to me one time? I had a migraine. We were talking too much at one time. What? One time I said to your dad, I was like, you know, it's very gamey. If you go, I'm leaving. Oh, they said gay. I was like, Mom, what? Game, homo sapiens. Like game plays, playing oh, okay. a game, to like toss down the gauntlet and go. I said, I'm leaving. I'm done with this conversation. That gives. It's you also very dictator. All the control. So you have no interest in really finding a solution. You only have an interest in shutting it down so that you can't move forward. King Joffrey. So. You both do this, by the way. Oh, okay. I don't do it that so, much, though. But you do it. I have done it, but you do it. Yeah. Y- we're equally She said, go to your that. room. Just go to your room. It's okay. Go to your room. Be down here. Go to your room. And I was like, okay. I didn't say it that much. I said it once. King Joffrey. I s- She's not King Joffrey. It's okay. I I'm Cersei. Saying that. You are King <laughs> Joffrey. Well, if, then you should call her Cersei. Because Cersei might be as evil, if not more evil. You are Joffrey. Cersei. Cersei's a bitch, isn't she? I hate her. God, I love her. She's crazy. She's. I don't like she's her. She's mean. No, I don't like her. But she's I'm saying nasty. she's so entertaining. She's only, some of the stuff she says. Super I'm like, narcissistic. She's mean. She's, she's super mean, narcissistic. Mean, she's like a snake. when she was like her daughter went off, then she was like, oh my god, my daughter. When she's keeping the other girl, Sansa. Yes, yeah. whatever her name is, redhead, carrot, Sansa Stark, er, <laughs> X Man, X Man, yeah, X Man, X. Is her hair really red? Like, I have no idea. No, she's blonde. Oh. Is she? Yeah. Nah. She looks like really good as blonde. Does she? Yeah. Sophie Turner. I love her. Yeah, she's great. She's so fun. I her like and her that her and Arya are best or Maisie or Maisley. Yeah, Maisie. Williams. They're like best friends in real life. Mm. It's so cute. So talk to me about Jon Snow. Oh <laughs> my god. He's awesome. Is this awesome? man I want to be his friend. You do? Yeah. Just his friend? No, nope. yeah. no, I wouldn't not be his just friend. his friend. No, because like, just his friend. No, right? No. Just Georgia. It's just Georgia. H O double T. This man no. can do whatever he wanted. I uh, know, right? Georgia. What about Rob Stark? Why? He's pretty cute. No, I type Jon Snow. Jon Snow all day long, right? Rob's fine. He's no. whatever. Tyrion, that's where it's at. I'd want to be their friends. <laughs> so how how um who would you who would you be like hobo hobo? I don't know yet. I haven't really You haven't found your hobo hobo? No. The hound? I was like Tywin. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that I would go to Thailand. 
Who would you be? I oh, think you've got. She these. hasn't met him yet. The guy that you said you had nightmares about because of the like what he did to um oh. what's his name? The guy you said oh. you had nightmares about. Remy. That's his name. Yeah, his name's Remy. You would be Remy. No, she would not be Remy. <laughs> No, I'm. The or girl. no, you would you would like Remy? Sorry. Maybe. What about Stannis Baratheon? You're like, oh, huba, huba. the dragon? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want. I don't want to have sex. <laughs> you don't know anybody's name. <laughs> no, I don't know. Uh, anyone's name. Would you like Tyrion? Who's Tyrion? Again? Podge. You know who I did like? Podrick. I did Podrick. like. Podrick. I did like the brother who got boiled at the beginning. No, the brother who got boiled. Uh, the one that got boiled in Daenerys. <laughs> Oh, that guy to get brother. boiled. He got his head got a uh, like boiling gold, gold put on his head. His hair the crown. Uh, he had a cool look of him. What about what about the Dothraki? Is he your type? The Jason Momoa? No, no? he's too dirty. I think John Snow's yeah. your type. And you just don't want to admit it. John I think you're manipulating. Snow is I'm not. so wonderful. No, he's just. I'd rather be his friend if anything. No, really? John yes, Snow's wonderful because you can always what about be Sam? friends with someone, but relationships are only like a short period of time of your life. So you could just be friends with someone. What? I mean, besides you're you're married. What are you talking like, about? You know? What about Sam, Isla? Samuel. Samuel. Sam. Samuel. Sam. Samuel. The Jon Snow's best friend. The heavy guy that John's reads John's BFF. A lot. Oh, he's awesome. Isn't he adorable? I'd want to be his friend too. He's super cute. I want to be everyone's friend. Especially the woman warrior. What about Robert Baratheon's bastard? He's pretty cute. Who's Robert Breath? Oh, um, oh, the helmet the, guy, the blacksmith. Yeah, who's the in the, the cage? Or, or no, he's not a. Or wait, I can't tell you. He's oh, somewhere. Right John now. Smith. I mean, John. He's Smith. not in a cage. John Snow's awesome. He's on a boat. He's on a boat. No, he's in a cage. He's no, he's on a, a boat. He's on a plane. Now he's on a boat. Guys, what the freak? <laughs> I need you don't to know stop why. Saying, you don't know where. Well, maybe Isla likes the red woman. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, I think this was a fun podcast. Did you have fun? Yeah. Yes, now I just miss Daisy. You miss Daisy? I miss Daisy too. And Sophia and Ellie. Can I go to to Mardi Gras? To Mardi Gras? That's in like March, right? Yeah. March, oh. April, May. Oh, I don't know. Are you in school when during Mardi Gras? Can't miss school for Mardi Gras. Maybe I am. Maybe the I'm The weird not. thing is that I... I only know months and where they're placed in the year if I talk about other months and you're in the same time zone. Okay, that made time no sense. Zone. <laughs> you only know months. No, like relative to I other just months like how she just said time zone in May, m- March. And I was like March, April, May, and I was like, oh, I know when May is. Oh, people always have to do that. Not well, not everybody, but some people. That that's not super I, uncommon. I don't know my month, so like it's you don't know. You your can't months. start at the beginning. You go through the March, year. April, May, June. No, that's not the first month of the year. October. What's the first month of the year? What? Um, Jane, Jane. John. January. January. <laughs> February, Jane. March, April, August, no, August, no, May, st- June, July, September, October, December, no, December. Mm. Do it? <laughs> no. No? I never learned the month song. You know how I, I There was no song. I didn't learn There a was song. a month song. Yes, there, there was? was. Yes. Just it's learn it on your own. Oh, fun. It's January, February, March, April, May, June, July, what? August. <laughs> no. <laughs> so when I was a little girl, there was a commercial for cat chow, cat food that would go January, chow to chow, chow, chow. February, chow to chow, chow, chow. What? March, chow to chow, chow, chow. And in the commercial, a new cat would come out for every month like it was a calendar. Oh, my God. Like a living calendar. And that's how I learned my month. No, there was January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Then it's like, can you turn around? And I then, learned the days of the week from the Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> 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 How so? It's like, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday Wednesday, and Thursday. Thursday. Do it Friday, Saturday, Saturday, and Sunday. Do it. Did you, you think there were eight days of the week then? Two Saturdays. Two Saturdays. <laughs> no, but like I, no. there's a morning Saturday and a nighttime Saturday. No, you know. but I have to go. I don't remember That's which one is Saturday and, and then Sunday. the party. Yeah, I always get you know. confused. I know which one's Saturday, but I don't know which one's Sunday. Party because then I hear someone today. I know, but Sunday. like if someone says to me, "Oh, it's on Sunday," I'm gonna have to be like, 
Saturday, Sunday to see if oh it's Saturday, that. Sunday, Saturday. Well, why Sunday. don't you just think Sunday is the last day of the weekend? I or can't Sunday, change Monday. my brain, Georgia. Or Sunday, Monday, change Sunday, Sunday, Monday. Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, Monday. Theoretically, no. all right. Monday, well, Tuesday. Thanks, guys. Thank you for talking about all this, Georgia. You know, everyone always comments that um, a lot of things about when I talk to you guys that I think that um, they're like your kids are kind of stupid. No, they do not <laughs> say that at all. That is not at all what they say. <laughs> they say like, things are you sure it's like not Georgia with the learning disability. <laughs> no, they say things like George is very well spoken for her age and seems very mature. They say things like I'm always entertained by Isla. I love the way her brain works. <laughs> <laughs> they do. Hey, that's a compliment. That's what everyone does. They always say it's really cool that the three of us talk like this together because <laughs> a lot of people say my kids don't talk to me like this. Oh. They won't talk we'll to start. me. start. Uh, they should start because, you know, it's we're, we're family and family is different than friends. It doesn't mean it's even more important in some ways, but in some ways it is. Can I give a it's message very to the kids so don't talk to her, their parents? Well, our relationship is very playful. Our relationship is very playful. Stop. Do you hear me? You want to send a message to the parents? No, to the kids don't that don't talk to their parents. Oh, okay. Listen up, kids. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> What's up, kiddos? Children, now that I'm legally an adult, I can talk to you from well, woman to that's child. That's so creepy. <laughs> it's it's really, really, so it is kind of creepy, but go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Um, there's a lot I didn't know about you and dad and about Zay and Ka and especially maybe like Sandy, Kathy, Lynn, all the do- adults I'm surrounded by. When mm. you're a kid, you only see them as an authority figure. But it's very important for when you start growing out of being a kid to start realizing that they are adults that have gone to parties. They've done all the stuff that you've done. Maybe some stuff that's pretty stupid, but I think it's pretty important to talk to your parents because they're they're adults like if you're not my parent outside like you're not just my parents what i'm trying to say like you're an adult outside of being my parent and so talking to you as an adult outside of my parent is important because like this you're still my mom but i still feel like i'm talking to you just as an adult Mm -hmm. like you're you're an adult and i'm an adult now so it's just talking to another person so like what i'm trying to say is don't just look at your parents as your parents look at them as people and I mean they're here for a reason so you might as well talk to them and it's pretty interesting to figure out all that you've done in 50 years Mm -hmm. you've had 50 years Mm -hmm. on planet earth and I have I don't even know about I maybe know about maybe like 20 of them Mm -hmm. but I don't know about all of them and that goes for every other adult in my life they've been on this earth for 40 plus years 30 plus years like I feel like it's important to not just view them in a singular mindset as your parent, as your aunt, as your mom's friend. View them as someone who also went to high school, who also went to college, who also had a first job, who also had a really bad breakup with their boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And I think if you ask your parent to separate the two, like if you go, can I, hey, can I just talk to you? Not as my mom, just as a parent or not as my aunt, just or not as my mom, just as a person or not as my aunt, just as a person, then that's very helpful. I think that's very wise. Everything you said is very, very wise. Factual. Well, help you a lot in your life. I think the flip side of that is I think sometimes parents have a hard time separating. So parents, be able to separate it. Otherwise, your kids aren't going to trust you. Be an adult. That's right. Because with every single parent I have noticed as a kid, every parent that has not been able to separate their kid's life from being their their kid to just being a kid Mm -hmm. has had the most break their most rifts with their kid Mm -hmm. when they can't separate she's just a kid being a kid or she is my kid and she is messing up Mm -hmm. sure she's your kid and she's messing up half the time but at the same time she's still a kid Mm -hmm. so if you can separate the two then your kid's gonna trust you as she's my parent or she's a person that i can talk to well, it's the flip side of your coin when you said, if you think about the adult and go, they went to high school, they had mm-hmm. a first job, they had a first breakup. If a parent can look at the kid and go, oh, yeah, I had a first job and I was stupid and I was late and I blew off my duties and that's how I figured out how to work. And yeah. I had a first boyfriend who broke up with me and I figured out how to get over that. And so I think parents sometimes don't trust their kids to 
be okay when they make a mistake. And God knows everybody on this planet has made a million mistakes. And the only way you grow and learn is from making a mistake. If I spent my whole time trying to prevent mistakes for you guys, I would be really doing you a disservice. Mm -hmm. So then when you do make a mistake for me to judge you too harshly or inappropriately would be also a mistake. Because you should have some judgment. Otherwise, you're just going to keep making mistakes. That's right. Like if you're late all the time, like, yeah, someone's going to judge you. Like, Daisy was late all the time in carpool. And the amount of times I had to talk to her about it was actually insane. Mm -hmm. But then she started getting on top of it. And she was like better towards the end. She still had some late days. But like, I mean, I don't know. She was trying. Just trying. <laughs> yeah, I think it's important for parents to let their kids be a person. Mm hmm. Not just a child. And for kids but to let their parents just be people. Just to be a person. And people are flawed. And um, I think that goes, even when you're not an adult, like Georgia like, said, she's a legal adult. I try to talk to you, Isla, like you're a person. And sometimes I don't. Sometimes I talk to you like a parent. But I try to talk to you like a person. Like you called me today about your flight to go help Georgia move to college. And we had a conversation like I would have with Sandy or anybody else. Let's check out yeah. the facts and let's see what you responsibilities you'll be missing if you miss some school and let's make a decision from there. That's what you do instead of being like, no, that's not what we did. Or yes, okay, whatever. We, I talk to you like an adult mm -hmm. because then that inspires you to talk to me like an adult. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's also very hard to be the one to start it. So if you're in like a relationship with your parent and the parents only treating the kid like it's their kid and the kid doesn't want to talk to the parent, it's very hard to be the person to be like, okay, you know what? They're a person too. And to start it. So it's also part of it. Well, it should be the parent, right? You, yeah. In, to, part of parenting is to um, teach by example, is to to teach your children by setting a good example. So if I am going to want to have this open conversation with you, then I should be willing to start the open conversation, you know? Mm -hmm. Either are you so bored of this conversation? No, I'm just thinking about stomach acid. What? What is wrong like, with you? Is there... <laughs> About stomach acid? Yeah, because like... Thanks. First, I'm so glad our conversation was no, riveting. <laughs> no, like I first thought like, can they actually, could they put a string in your mouth and it make go out your butthole? Um, and then... <laughs> It'd be a really long string. No, like then I was carry thinking, you by that string like this. So, but then I was thinking your, your long intestine, well, maya, because it's too long. But then uh, your stomach acid dissolved this, this string. But, but what have they like gotten a camera in your stomach while it was still moving because they probably have but then why <laughs> while is what was still moving your stomach no well well it was still alive <laughs> while you were still alive yes you can put a camera in your stomach <laughs> while you're still alive yeah but then it went to the question of how does it keep the stomach acid in the stomach if you're upside down why would you be upside because down? Because there are valves. There are valves Falling? in your esophagus. There are valves Falling? all in here that keeps things where they're supposed to. You know what a yeah. valve is, right? Yeah. It's so, a pumpy pump. So that was that? goes one way. <laughs> a valve, valve. No, but like, the real, like these are like, if this is like the, this, the trachea or whatever it's called, uh -huh. does it like. Constrict? Yeah. I don't know. And like, so could so you just like put learning. that one uh, strongest atom metal thing in the string and then never mind so the the stomach acid doesn't dissolve it and yeah. see if it goes through your whole body and poops yeah. out the other end and then you could go rant, 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 yeah. rant, and rant, how would that feel i feel probably, like it would hurt it would probably i wonder how your gag reflex try? would handle it because you have a that string in your gag reflex well i just oh, i, don't I remember oh that. my god <laughs> i swallowed an entire ice cube two days ago <laughs> what <laughs> You have just, in three minutes, uh. proven my point that everyone comments that Georgia speaks so maturely and you're, everyone loves the way your brain works. Because <laughs> as we're having this in-depth conversation, you're thinking about stomach acid and a string going from your throat to your butthole, except it might dissolve in the stomach acid, and then you swallow it a whole well, ice Well, on cube. the personality test, I think I did this right because, like, they were... <laughs> what? They asked if you go deep into thought, and I said, yeah. I do, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, you go super deep. <laughs> I do. I want. Oh. 
Aww. You guys are making fun of me. I go deep. I am not making fun of you. I am making all. fun of you. I am delighted. Since I go deep into thought. I get the biggest oh. kick out of your brain, Isla, because your brain is so free in so many ways. <laughs> and I mean, no, no, I, I'm serious about that. I'm not You're even free. joking. <laughs> You're bound by your no brain, loss. My brain, my whole life has been about what do I need to do? What do I need to do? What is the next thing I have to do? And the next thing I have to do? I have next thing. So I get trapped in this like taskmaster brain. It's because I took care of myself basically from like age four. So if, if I was going to eat, I had to figure it out. You'd have the the benefit and the privilege of not having to worry about those things. So your brain gets to be really free and it's really cool to watch. That's why people love, say they love how your brain works because your brain is really free. It's a really free mm, brain that goes, huh, unique. I wonder if I could put a string in my mouth and I go through, no, stomach acid would eat that. So how, what's my workaround for that? That's a really free thinking brain. So I, I get the biggest kick when you come up with these, Free thinking, and then you jump from that to I swallowed a whole ice cube, which has nothing. If anything, you said gag anything. reflex, and I was like, "Oh, I said gag reflex." You see, the free <laughs> brain associated with something different. My I linear logical brain doesn't. So I enjoy your brain because it's very different from mine in that way. Mm. We may be stubborn. We may be rigid. We may be like that the same, but a whole ice cream. what your brain thinks about because it's so free is fascinating to me. And I think it's hysterical in the best way. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I swallowed a whole ice cube on Tuesday. I did. I did. did it hurt? <laughs> it did hurt. It was did in there you? for like a solid three minutes. <laughs> so I was just like. She's like, I had to wait for I'm tomorrow. just swallowing air, like trying. Like, oh, were you choking on it? It was blocking? <laughs> no, it? no, I was swallowing. So it would go down. It hurt, didn't it? Yeah, because yeah, it, it was like, cold and I had a brain freeze. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you guys so mean? <laughs> You're so weird. You are weird. so funny. It hurts a lot, doesn't it? Yeah. It panicked me the first time I, I, I swallowed it. I've done it more than once, <laughs> Mom. <laughs> <laughs> I've done it more than once, Mom. You are so funny. I've done it more than once, Mom. <laughs> like, I know how to get it down. It just <laughs> it takes a minute. You stupid. You are the funniest thing ever. How many times? If you had to put a number on it. I don't know. More than that. Why count. do you keep swallowing the more hole? Than I can't. <laughs> Do you think do you think your gag reflex is inoperable? <laughs> yeah, except when I brush my teeth and I like brush my tongue, I'm like, <laughs> so your gag reflex is in working order. It's just, however, that ice cube's just too slippery. No, I, think, <laughs> I think so because every single time I just am talking. I'm talking when it happens. So then I'm just like, I'm like, do you know what we said when Isla was in my room today? She goes. I think I, I think the two most perfect parts of my body are my tongue and my eyes. Nope, nope, your nostrils. Your tongue and your nostrils. Yeah. And I said, really? She goes, yeah, that's why I'm having a midlife crisis about wanting a tongue piercing. I was like, okay. <laughs> you don't want a tongue piercing. What? Uh, the bad photos of those, though. I looked at the photos and like this one person's tongue piercing got like infected. No, I was like, no, Isla, you're just going to taste started, infection like how my all ear day. Went. Like how my ear went, where oh, it sucked where the up your earring. went inside. The, and it you remember sucked when up Isla first the, got her ears pierced and she woke up in yes. the middle of the night and her earring was in yes. her ear? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That was really painful. Um, I but bet. that happened to someone's tongue. I was like, Isla, so all that's you're going to no taste is yeah. infection if you get a tongue piercing. She was like, but I like the taste of infection. It was that's no. disgusting. Oh, guys, <laughs> you guys are disgusting if you don't. Have you never like eaten your. Skin? No. <laughs> no. I have never eaten any what? infection. That is disgusting. What? Eating infection? No, I used to. I that don't anymore. What kind of infection are you Just eating? She will pick her scabs off and then go. That's disgusting. No, no, it's like picking your skin off of your fingers and then biting them. Not at all. No. It's totally different, actually. No, it's like blood and bacteria and. Mm. And it's it makes yellow. you stronger. And scab. Oh my god. It makes god. you stronger. Oh my god. Oh my god. I gotta get out of this. I'm now I'm 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 I'm, I'm now I gotta get out of this. I love you both. I love you too, mommy. 
I love you both very much. I'm very proud of who you are as people. And I'm proud that you're so different from each other because better. you know what that <laughs> time through the bus. Go, mommy. Let me explain. No, I think that <laughs> because you are your own person and you have grown up to be who you are. I've always been my own person. I Shut always. Up. And Georgia, you and Georgia have never been alike. Not ever, not for one second. Some guy at Barnes and Nobles asked if we were friends. Yeah. He you was never, like, stay friends. I'm not even talking about looking alike. I couldn't even parent you the same. Like, I, I sometimes had massive guilt about not being able to parent you the same. Like, I could look at you crooked and you would fall apart. You, I could like, I could like hammer nails through your hands and you go, I don't feel it. Whatever. Like you were so hard to raise. I, I had, I had to have two different parenting styles for my two children. I mean, we had bedtime, we had dinner, we ate, uh, you know, we had rules like that. But like to actually figure out who you were and to parent appropriately for that person could not have been more different. I mean, obviously no lying, no cheating on your homework. You know, you do your chores, you you eat dinner, you take a nap when you were little. All that was the same for both of you. But it's well, been a real interesting journey to see who you are, to ask the question, who are you? And how do I help you be that person to the best you can be? Because things that I had to address with you, I've <laughs> never kidding. had to address with Georgia. And things I've had to address hitting, Georgia, screaming, scratching, pushing, anything clawing. physical. We don't hit in this house. Leaving bruises on Georgia. Yeah, I've never had to do that for Georgia. Yeah, until I care recently. about you. Until recently. Until she's finally gotten physically aggressive all that, of a sudden. That's not true. Thank you, lacrosse. Um, <laughs> but Oh, true fact. The other is true as well. You know, I never had to ask Georgia to do her homework or... Or to even monitor her grades. I never had to do that. But I, but also, her standard for getting good grades was a bit different than yours. Because mm. you have challenges she doesn't have. So if she came home with a C, it's a problem. You come home with a C and I go, I understand. It's congratulations. No, it's not congratulations. <laughs> you finally No, made that's it. not it. It's that an understanding that a C is something different for you than it is for Georgia. Yeah. A C for Georgia is lazy. A C for you is this was a challenge. Yeah. This was a real challenge. Those are two different things, right? Mm. Yes. Yes. So I have to parent them differently. I can't just say anybody who gets a C is in the dungeon. You know, I can't do that. <laughs> the dungeon. She has it. C means something different for her. But I can't let you just be a C student because you don't have learning differences. You don't have any challenges like that. And I can get to go to college on a You ride. don't know that. I do know that. I absolutely know that you are a very, what's called a typical student who you learn from mm. different modalities with ease. You're and you lucky can about adjust, that. And you don't have any kind of learning disability whatsoever. You may have anxiety, but you don't have any kind of learning <laughs> disability. That's a disability. And a learning, and a learning, I don't like the word disability, a learning difference, <laughs> something that makes learning a different experience for you is something that I live had forever. What? Complication. It's a complication. That's exactly what it is. It's just a complication. It just makes simple things complicated. Yeah. <laughs> So very simple things, complicated, complicated, complicated. And, you know, she doesn't get to things in a straight line. Who doesn't? Isla, you get to things in a straight line. So Isla, you turns a bunch. Time. No, not you turns. No, she gets, just goes in circles. No, no you, you don't. No, you don't go in circles stops, either. Just stops. She just stops. You just go around the block a couple times and then you get there and you just go whoop. And you're lucky in that. And you're lucky because that brain is what makes you go, I wonder if I can just string in my esophagus <laughs> and it come out my butthole. I wonder, I wonder. I should ask Miss Mead about that. You should ask Miss Mead about that. She's environmental, though. She's not. Oh, you don't think she knows anything about biology? Or I like she taught biology. Oh, she does touch biology. Yeah, yeah. I took her in session for biology. Yeah. Okay. Ask, her, ask Miss Mead. I'm sure she oh, would be fascinated. Last time I gave her my theory about the sun exploding, she didn't like that very much. No? No. 
I was like, or not the sun. I was like, what if the inside of the earth is a star or is a white hole that's just sucking everything in? They just sucked in all these perfect parts that fit as a ball. And then that, and then that for some reason, like all the chemical reactions made humans. And then. Oh, well, that, see, that's <laughs> the opposite of creationism. And you are in a Catholic school. So. <gasps> I, that oh. may be part of it. I don't know. I don't know yeah. Miss Mead well enough to know. I don't. Mm. She doesn't seem to me like a creationist, mm, but not religious. She may. Well, she might have just thought I was. She may too can't. Much. Maybe can't completely support that because she's teaching at a Catholic school. I don't know. Because according to the Bible, God created man. I mean, what, but we just, don't know what the core of the Earth is. So molten rock, isn't it? No, but we yeah. don't know that. That's a theory. What? No, you don't, oh really? Yeah, th- no, don't I, know I, no, I, I thought no, we do because of volcanoes. Not a theory. No, but like the core, we don't know what that is. We've never seen it. We've never. What if it's just a bunch of hamsters on wheels? What if it's gelatin? What if it's a bunch of chickens? What if it's dragon eggs? <gasps> just dragon eggs. What if it's another world on the inside of our world? Mm. A whole new world. And that's why they've never dug down. What if it's Mona? <laughs> <laughs> Mona's face just like <laughs> ruff, ruff, ruff. God, every, every earthquake is just Mona's bark. And that's why everything bad's ever happened is because Mona needs help getting up the stairs and, no and now pees everywhere. She pees everywhere. Oh, I know. I caught her peeing one time. She pees everywhere. She's like, <laughs> you're peeing in front of me. Yeah, I don't. She's like, you know she's what? She's having a rough time. She's old. All right. Well, I love you guys. Love you. Oh, uh, thank you for being on my you. podcast. It's gonna be a long time till I have all both of you again. You'll just have That's me from now on, Mom. I know, just you and me. What will we talk about? Nothing. Because George's I'm faults. <laughs> <laughs> we can have a whole new podcast called George's Faults. The Fault in Our George. One <laughs> Episode one of 7,036. Uh, Georgia is blonde. Does, do I look blonde? That's a problem. You're blonde adjacent. Yeah. <laughs> you actually are blonde. Yeah, you're, I don't <laughs> your leg hair is blonde, Georgia. Yeah, you're, God bless. Your yeah, real hair is blonde. That is not blonde. That is well. Blonde. It's kind of well. Now it's kind of ashy. It's like gray. No, it's, it's ugly not gray. Color. It's kind of ashy. Blonde. I hate it. I don't blonde. like it. Why does it look like that? Let it grow out. I don't know. Lighter. It used to be like white blonde. That's a fact. I didn't know because it started getting darker. Yeah, as you got older. Listen, you have dad's hair color. Dad was really blonde as a kid. I have dad's hair color. Yeah, it's just going to keep darker as you. What's wrong with dad's hair color? It's brown. He's gray. No, everybody no. has gray hair. Yeah. No, point. his like regular hair is like. No, it's not. Gray it's black. brown. That's his beard. He's brown. Oh, He's got brown hair. Cry. I have his hair color. Well, yeah, be glad you don't have mine. Cool. I'm entirely gray. Boy, well, you're I, a brunette. Hey, I have your hair color. Hey, That's I have nice. your hair yeah, color. buckle your seatbelts, baby. Let me see. I actually, I think I'm going to embrace my grayness. Good luck. And then I'm going to go like hot pink or something. Are you? Yeah. An old I would woman so much at rather, hot pink. I would. I wish this was my natural hair color. Okay. <laughs> I look <Okay>. so good. <laughs> you're so narcissistic. Now that I'm hot. Now that uh, I'm, I'm hot. not even kidding. Sandy said I looked like a child with my old teeth. She goes. With a child. Ah, now I'm Oh, you look hot. like a cute little rabbit. Oh I will God. thrive. You are so your I will have no problem daughter. making friends now that I'm attractive. Now that you have. Good teeth. Missed eyewear. Hey, speedo. it's not just my teeth. Well, I hope you don't make friends just because you're attractive. I hope you make friends because no, the but people it'll help. you hang out with like who you are. It'll help. They li- My friends like who I am, hopefully. My friends like who I am, too. All right. I think everyone likes My friends like who I am. Daisy likes who I am. Don't <laughs> clench my butt. I'm not doing that. Okay, I love you. Love you, bye. Off to college. Yeah. Bye, Georgia. Until Georgia, next stop. time. Georgia, stop. Georgia. Stop it. <laughs> Georgia. Okay, Halston, stop. stop. Halston, stop. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God.